Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun Love Stars. Welcome to today's pick a card reading. So, today's pick a card reading is going to be about good news coming your way, okay? So we're going to look at what kind of good news is coming to you next, okay? What are you going to be super duper happy about or what is going to make you smile? What is going to make you feel really really happy, okay? Because you're receiving happy news, good news, okay? So in the next clip you can choose between three images. If you feel indecisive, of go on Google, find a number generator and ask your spirit guides God, the universe, your ancestors to guide you to the right pile and the number generator will spit out a number and there you go. That's your pile. That's your reading. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to see you in your reading guys. <laughs> Hello my lovely pal number one, welcome to your reading guys. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about good news that are coming your way, that are going to make you happy, that are going to make you smile, that are going to make you feel like things are going great. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in, we're going to look at the cards together, but the first thing that I'm hearing here is the good news either is that something is over, something is done, something is no longer there, um yeah something is over something is done okay or i'm hearing something can something is done very fast so this could be like where the good news is that something like you receive a call or a message faster than you think so they might be saying to you or something might be saying to you like the estimated time for something is two weeks but they call you within one week so something about the good news is that something can be done fast or something can be done very fast or something can be done last minute is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, for others of you there's something about like um, something moving a lot faster. Okay, something about where you find a way to, I don't know, where something is moving faster. Okay, or you can, oh you can complete something faster is what I'm picking up here. Okay. But again, we're going to dive into what that is, but we also have the 8th house here. So the 8th house is usually the house of occultism, hidden knowledge. Um, it's the house of um, sexual energy as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, it says endings and beginnings. Or this could also be something about good news. could be like you can start tomorrow or it's only going to take a week, it's only going to take a month or we can do something last minute or something along those lines is coming through here. For others of you, this is an energy of like, you can begin today. Like I'm being brought to someone who is asking like, you know, are you looking for, are you hiring? And then they're like, yeah, you can start right now. That's the vibe that is coming through here. For some of you guys, if you lost your job, this is not going to be for everybody, but I feel like you're going to find a job very fast. Like if someone lost a job, you're immediately going to find a job like very fast. So something about the good news is that something can be done fast or you can immediately start or you can immediately come and visit or something along those lines. Okay. So this to me feels like something might be urgent, you know, like an appointment might be urgent or a meeting might be urgent and it, something needs to be done very fast. And they're like, yeah, you can come in, you know, we're still open, you know, something along those lines is what I'm picking up here, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in and then we're going to look at the cards together. Okay, guys, let's see what's up. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Mm, this could also be connected to money but it feels like it's money from another person because the eighth house is usually the savings or the money of the spouse so this could also be in case you are in a connection this could be connected to your partner okay 
So this could even be an energy where your partner is receiving good news at work or they're receiving good news when it comes to them also being brought to someone trying to get a loan or take out a credit or something about where you're trying to get money from the bank to um, somehow pay something, okay, or yeah, to somehow get a credit or get a loan is what I'm picking up here. So someone could be receiving good news. Something about the bank. Yeah, because the second house, we have the second house here. The second house is connected to your savings account, your values. It's connected to um, how you attract or repel money. Okay. So someone here is attracting money fast. Like, oh yeah, oh yes. So this could be connected to magic money where money comes to you very fast or money, com money comes to you out of nowhere. Or something about someone's money magic is working fast. Or right in time is what I'm hearing as well. Okay, because we have your woman holding a coin. So it does talk about like money or where you can get something fast. Okay, like I'm being brought to express deliveries. Um, I'm being brought to... Or where someone has the money that you need. So someone around you could have the money that you need and they want to borrow it or lend it to you. Is what I'm picking up here as well. This could even be last minute where someone is going to call you last minute that they have the money or I don't know. This could be something like that because again, the eighth house does talk about spouse energy. It does talk about like your partner and your partner's like account or savings if I'm not mistaken. So this could just be in general where um, someone around you is going to help you to achieve something fast is what i'm picking up here so yeah this for some of you guys this could also be about like um someone helping you to achieve something fast or to get out of a situation fast okay because we have here the card time to get out of a situation so the good news could be that something like it's the right timing now so someone could be saying it's the right timing now or this could even be your spirit guides telling you it's the right timing for something okay so this could be an energy again where you finally find the right job in order for you to finally quit the job that you don't like. Um, for others of you, this could be, oh yeah. Hmm. Because for some odd reason, I also picked up, um, although I don't see the fourth house here. Okay. But for some of you guys, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a moment. There's something coming through here. Or someone can, can be there very fast. Okay, so this could be kind of like an urgency or like a last minute type of situation where you need the money last minute or you need someone to be there last minute, like a last minute babysitter. That's the vibe that is coming through here. Someone has children. Okay, so this could be like something about where something has to happen fast because there is a due date is what I'm picking up here or um, where you feel like in order to protect your health you need to get out of the situation and i feel like it's almost like your spirit guides are telling are saying it's time so there could be like a big change happening when it comes to you finally getting out of a situation like um financially spiritually mentally physically okay this could be an energy where someone is like um transition where someone is telling you like you're going to change departments in your career and it's like the best thing that could happen to you because that apartment was that department was not good for you or you were dealing with people that you didn't want to work with. So this, this is what I'm picking up. You kind of like a change in departments. And um, this could be like a something like that is coming through here. Fathers of you, this could be connected to good news, connected to a lawyer because we have the public defender here. Okay, so this could also be connected to good news that you're getting connected connected to a lawyer or a court case. Okay, let me see. Now for some of you guys, because we have here yeah, we have the eight we have the eight of pentacles, so it does feel like it has something to do with work. Someone here, um, I'm hearing Katy Perry. So someone's name could be Katy or Perry, or you have been listening to the music of Katy Perry. Okay, for some of you guys, you have been seeing skulls, like um, skull symbolism, like wherever you go, you see skulls or something along those lines. Okay, um, let me see what, okay, I'm channeling, give me a moment guys, okay. 
or you maybe really like skulls or you bought something with a skull on it you know as a like as a motive for some of you guys you also have been very very drawn to the color red lately um as well as purple what else is coming through here someone's name could start with the letter m someone here could be born in may or someone's name could be may <laughs> um I'm also hearing E, so someone's name could start with an E here as well. Okay. Give me a moment, guys, because I'm... Okay, I'm also seeing something about um, a replacement or a substitute, so something is broken and you know the replacement comes very fast this could be literally a delivery where something is being replaced very fast or something can be replaced very fast um, or you're getting like a discount because something got broken does that make sense so there's something going on like that so you might also receive a voucher or kind of like i'm also doing very good customer service i don't know what that means okay um but yeah i keep seeing I'm also hearing pirate, Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean of the Pirates, you know that movie? Like I'm also being brought to that, I don't know if you like that movie or you are from um, a Caribbean island, okay? If you are, this is definitely your pal, but I'm also being brought to Johnny Depp, so the name Johnny could be significant or you watched the movie with Johnny Depp, okay? Because I'm just channeling right now, because I don't know what this is that I'm seeing here. It feels like um, I'm seeing like sailor energy and I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing for some of you guys, your ancestor, one of your ancestors was a sailor or something about you live close to a body of water or I feel like, I don't know, like there, I'm hearing someone in your family or your ancestry was a sailor or like a fisherman or something like that. So that could be this ancestor that is helping you right now. Okay, for others of you, you have been more drawn to like a presbyterian diet or you have been eating more fish, but I feel like it's connected to somehow like you have an ancestor and that ancestor talks to you through the ocean or they talk to you through like sea creatures or like symbolism that is connected to the ocean and like, you know, like animals of the ocean, okay, or something like that, okay, or again, like I'm being brought to a fisherman, I don't know why, okay. Um, yeah, we have a boat here. I forgot that we have a boat here. <laughs> okay, someone here could also be from Holland or like um, Amsterdam or something along those lines. Okay. <laughs> someone here could be eating cheese right now. Don't ask me why. It's just coming through. Um, for others of you, what I'm picking up here is... I'm seeing someone here having a dream. So for some of you guys, you already had this dream and for others of you, you are about to have this dream. In that dream, you succeed big time. In this dream, there's big success coming to you, big money coming to you, a miracle happening in that dream, okay? And for some of you guys, if you already had that dream, you have been questioning, is that dream just me dreaming or is that dream a prophecy? good news is it's a prophecy it's about to happen within the next couple of days and weeks i think i'm actually gonna get a timing card here like my timing cards because for some of you remember you had a dream and in that dream there was big money coming to you big success coming to you or some type of miracle took place that completely shocked you you know or in that oh listen in that dream you were so happy that you actually shared that good news with other people so you had a dream about something so happy happening in your life and you were sharing those happy news with other people. They're telling me this reading is connected to that dream and that dream is about to take place. So good news is it was a prophecy. It was not, it, it was not just you dreaming of a better future. It was a prophecy. Here we go. Fathers of you, you are about to have that dream. And that dream is going to show you that you are going in the right direction or that dream is going to show you in which direction to go to get to your goal. So fathers of you, this is a download, okay, about how to make 
big money or how to be able to quit your job, how to be able to be financially independent, how to be able to manifest a house or your dream apartment, your dream salary. For others of you, this dream is about to come to you, okay? This dream will either show you that you will be successful, okay? Or when you will be successful or there's somehow hints and clues in that dream okay that will give you like hidden information and from there on once you analyze that dream it's a i'm hearing it's a piece of cake it's like then you know exactly in which direction to go or um shortly after that dream um whatever this is it's manifesting okay let me see okay because the distant horizon card right here it talks about a dream okay it talks about someone having a dream. Okay. Or for others of you, this could even be an energy where the good news is that a dream is possible. Okay. Where you thought maybe something is not possible. Maybe maybe something is not possible financially, but it is. Or it will be. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. Are these all the cards? No. One is missing. Okay, because we have either card, it will soon all make sense for circle moments are within reach. Okay, for others of you, um, this is about the end of confusion is what I'm picking up here as well. Okay, so you're going to be very happy about a full circle moment that is about to take place. Oh, this could be you realizing what your purpose is or in which direction you should go when it comes to your career or your finances. Okay, because we have the truth card here. Yeah, something was true. That dream was true. Okay, this could even be an energy where someone said to you like, I'm even picking up the energy here where for some of you guys, this might have been when you were younger, this might have happened recently, for others of you, this is years ago. Someone said to you like, you have a big future or you have a bright future or I see like a bright future or something like that. Or someone has been saying to you like, um, you're gonna make big things happen, you know, or they have been saying to you, there's something special about you, you know. Um, you're going to remember this, this person's words when this is happening, okay? I don't know what that means, but you're going to remember this person's, like, words. Someone knew, like, I'm hearing someone knew that um, your dreams would come true. Like, this is def this is a dream come true, basically, okay? Now, this could be small wishes or this could be wi big wishes, but it could also be literally, like, a prophecy, like a dream coming true, okay? But it's good news that this dream is coming true, so it was not just, like... Oh, this is not just um, wishful thinking, it's a prophecy. That's the vibe that is coming through here. Okay, for others of you, I'm seeing a um, um, surprise party, a celebration. Oh, do you know what I'm also hearing? Good news is that something is happening or something is manifesting before your birthday or right before your birthday or on your birthday. Okay. Because we have the Roman celebration and party here, you could be connected to pile number two because we had a woman holding a fan in pile number two. Um, yeah, so if you feel drawn to pile number two, go ahead, but if you don't, don't do it, okay? But yeah, we have the fanny, so this could also be like a um, surprise, because the eighth house is about hidden energy, so this is a hidden party. Someone could be like, um, someone could be planning like a surprise party or a hidden party for you. That's the vibe that I'm picking up here as well. <laughs> okay. Fathers of you, I'm telling you, there's something about something that's manifesting right before your birthday or right before mm, like a big event. This is literally like an energy where you are ordering a dress and the estimated delivery time is like not in alignment with the with the date, with when you need the dress. But the dress is going to come earlier. <laughs> okay, for some of you guys, it could be as small as that. Um, for others of you, it's more on a larger scale here. Okay. I'm also hearing something about the good news is that someone is um, inviting you to a party or someone is coming to your party. Like you are inviting someone and this person might be someone who's usually very busy. They're going to have time to come to your party. Okay, is what I'm picking up here as well. <laughs> or you're going to be invited to a party and you thought you wouldn't be invited to it. I don't know why. Okay. Or something about something spectacular is happening at a party. Yeah, for others of you, this is definitely when you are in a connection, like your 
partner might be coming home with good news about you know like a salary raise a bonus maybe they can take some days off of work maybe they have like um, surprisingly they have vacation days or something like that or someone wants to go on a vacation with you or someone wants to surprise you to go on a vacation with them is what I'm picking up here as well okay in case you are in the connection already let's see just for someone here okay for some of you guys, I feel like if you are in a connection, I feel like your partner is going to quit their job because they feel like their job is interfering with your relationship, okay? And they're immediately going to find another job and this other job is a lot better for them and then they're also going to be a lot healthier in the connection, okay? Or someone or your partner is going to have more time for you because they somehow achieve a goal financially or when it comes to their career, so now they can relax a little bit is what I'm picking up here as well. Okay, so they might be coming to you with like good news that they have the weekend off, that they want to go on a vacation with you, that they have time for you or a lot more time for you now because they achieved something here. Or again, they could be coming home telling you they got the credit, they got the loan, they got the job, they got the bonus, like the promotion or whatever. Okay, let's see. What is the Romans party or celebration? No, not... Why did I just say that anyway? <laughs> um, when is this energy here manifesting? Like this dream being a prophecy and then becoming real what is that energy about okay so this could be oh interesting what do we have today the 17th of february so for some of you guys this could be taking place um around february or march for some of you guys we have the 12 weeks so this could be within the next three months that this dream is manifesting oh wow and for others of you this might be like um this is going to be interesting because i almost want to say um for some of you guys you had that dream in december or you have like a dream or a vision in december is what i'm picking up here for some of you guys you might be born in the month of december Or something about a dream where you were partying or you were attending someone's birthday or it was your own birthday. Let me see what that is about. Give me a moment, guys, okay? Okay, for others of you, this is good news about your relocation. Like you want to relocate and I feel like you're receiving good news. Again, either the money is there or um, you're going to manifest the money just in time for you to relocate. Okay, and for others of you, this could be like good news coming to you through documents about a relocation or about some type of traveling type of situation here. Okay. I'm trying to find the right words about that because I almost want to say because the december card could be last december but it could also be the upcoming december because i'm hearing i'm hearing for a lot of you guys by the end of this year you will be able to be fully independent or by the end of this year you will be able to finally uh, work abroad or live abroad okay so there's a lot of good news connected to that point but it, it might happen like by the end of december or by the end of december it's like something is complete or oh for others of you this could be also an energy of like so that something only takes one year instead of three years or whatever or um something can be done within the couple of months so something can be like done just oh hmm your spirit guides are here there's something about where something can be done this year and it's like good news because you thought it's gonna take two or three years don't know what that means okay i don't know what that means but yeah for some of you guys there's something about by the end of this year or until the end of this year maybe you told yourself oh did i talk to you about the 2024 prediction i didn't it was pound number two i do feel like there's a connection here um this could be an energy the good news is that um something is manifesting by the end of until the end of this year i don't know what that means okay i almost want to say this has something to do with like uh, traveling and relocation so by the end of this year or until the end of this year you will have you will have visited your dream 
place or you will have relocated to your dream place. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. Oh, this is interesting because in pile number two we had Pisces energy. This is definitely connected, okay? Um, let me see. Let me get one more card here. We also have you the card. You will soon feel a spark in your soul that lets you know that something is for you, okay? So for others of you, this good news is connected to you feeling a spark in your soul, especially if you felt unmotivated, hopeless. There is about to be a huge spark in your soul or in your spirit, okay that lets you know that something is for you so the good news also is that something is meant for you so someone could be saying this was meant for you or this could be a spirit guide showing you what was meant for you or uh, i'm hearing i'm meant for you like where someone says i'm meant for you or you are meant for me or you were meant for this job you were meant for this okay where someone sees that you were born or meant for this or you were built for something okay so you could be chosen. Yeah, for some of you guys, it could be an energy of being chosen, um, whatever that means to you. Like where you are the perfect candidate for something. Let's see. But yeah, for a lot of you guys, this is definitely connected to good news when it comes to someone's job. It might be your job or it might be your future's. Oh, okay. For some of you guys, I'm hearing, um, in case you are in a connection, um, there might be a relocation in the mix. Okay. Like I'm seeing where your partner's gonna ask you to travel with them or to relocate with them. Or they're gonna say yes to, for example, you want to relocate or travel, they're gonna say yes to you, so they're gonna come with you. Does that make sense? Because this could be an energy where you don't know if this relationship is going to last or not because um, because of some type of relocation or because of some type of traveling, because of work, but they might be keeping you company or you might be deciding to keep them company. So something like that could be significant here as well. I don't know what that means. Can you clarify time to get out of a situation? Time to get out of a situation. We have the universe here. Wow. Okay, we have the page of pentacles. We have the day trader. So if someone here is dealing with trading, <laughs> there could be good news coming to you. Okay, when it comes to your trading business is what I'm hearing. We also have here the world card. We have the fool. I'm hearing trust the magic of new beginnings. So for some of you guys, this good news energy here is all about how someone decides to start a new life or someone starts to build something from scratch or someone decides to leave their old life behind and start a new one and it's like super duper risky. The good news is you've made the right decision or everything goes according to plan is what I'm hearing. But again, it has something to do with um, starting a new life. Okay. It has something to do with starting a new job, starting a new career. Um, it has something to do with being in a new place. Traveling somewhere new. What is the good news that is coming to power number one? Are we power number one now? Yes. <laughs> this is power number one. It says, in need of help and guidance and assistance, the hand. Yeah, with the hand here, I'm hearing someone is coming with you. I don't know what that means. Okay. But to me, this feels like, to be honest with you, it feels like relocation or it feels like traveling. So this could be surprising, surprisingly traveling <laughs> or like an invitation to travel here. Okay. This could even be where someone says, don't worry about it, I'm going to lend you or borrow you the money or don't worry about it, I'm going to pay for your plane ticket. Okay. This energy could also be connected to Christmas. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what I'm also saying? This is not going to be for everybody, okay? Um, I'm hearing someone wants to make up for... Like where around Christmas they couldn't give you what they wanted to give you but 
someone here, this could be a friend, this could be a lover, this could be a family member where they feel like they wanted to give you so much more on Christmas but they couldn't. They're going to come into some type of um, finan financial gain or they're going to make more money and then they want to give back to you. Or maybe you've done someone a favor, maybe you've done... For some of you guys, you have done something for somebody in December. Maybe you helped them financially or maybe you, I don't know, let them sleep at your place around Christmas or around like winter season and they want to give back to you. So the good news could be that they could be coming to you to give back to you financially or they want to help you out now or something along those lines is what I'm picking up here. This could be also someone could be paying you back where you borrowed money to someone and you, and you were like, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the money back they will give the money back to you is what I'm seeing here okay let's see what is the good news that is coming to pile number one what is that energy about <laughs> we have love <laughs> and we have here strong emotion passionate love or hate Aww. I'm hearing the good news is that someone loves you <laughs> what is that about give me a moment guys So some of you guys this is a love confession if you have been thinking about whether or not someone loves you i feel like they might be expressing to you that they love you so for some of you guys this is about the revelation of feelings so the good news is somehow connected to that someone truly loves you or someone wants to be with you okay or someone is willing to somehow sacrifice something this could even be the other way around where like i'm being brought to two people and I'm being brought to Emily in Paris, I'm not going to lie, where she had to decide whether or not she stays in Paris or goes back to Chicago or something along those lines, like where two people, um, maybe you want to relocate in some type of country and they want to relocate. You might be telling me, I don't know what you're talking about. This might be happening, okay? Like something about where, um, like I'm seeing an energy where someone is like, you know what, I actually wanted to move elsewhere but ever since i met you i'm gonna stay here this could be someone who is um extending their vacation because of you <laughs> you might be telling me don't know what you're talking about exactly <laughs> okay i'm hearing like the fire that needs the air i won't burn unless you're there you're there Good news is coming to pal number one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So this does feel like your partner. This could literally be um, a friend around you is going to celebrate big success or big news and they're going to share their success and their good news with you. It's like they are winning, but them winning is also you winning. Does that make sense? Let's say, for example, they get a movie role. Now they already have connections to get you the next movie role. Does that make sense? So I almost want to say you're going to be celebrating good news with another person here. This is not just you. Because the Eight of Wands sometimes can also mean an invitation. I'm also seeing a love letter here. If I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do if I told you you are beautiful? But I'm hearing, if I wrote you a love letter, would you write back? What is that about? Someone has a crush on someone and the other person also has a crush on the other person or what? Let me see, let me get my love cards here. Give me a moment, guys, okay? Now for some of you guys... Um, the good news could actually also be, I'm going to be honest, someone could be announcing that they broke up with someone, but this was a toxic person, so they broke up with a toxic person, and therefore a friendship can be rekindled, or therefore like a connection can be rekindled, because they broke up with another person. I'm not saying that they, you were a rebound, like I'm, okay, like I'm picking up the energy here, like a friend had a toxic boyfriend, they break up with a toxic boyfriend, and you might be rekindling the connection for some of you guys, okay, not for everybody, um, that's what I'm picking up here, okay. Wow. 
now. I don't know what this energy is that I'm picking up here. I'm going to be honest, okay? Um, let's see. What is this love energy here about? Why is this energy here? What is this love energy about? It says, let me seduce you. Yeah, look at that. And she's blindfolded. So I do feel like it's like your partner, like a friend or a partner or a family member has a surprise for you. So they had, so a family member, a friend or a lover has good news in the form of money, in the form of a vacation, in the form of like even like a, I don't know. Okay. Something like that. What is this good news energy here about? It says, I have never in my life felt so calm and yet on fire. And we have the word here, fire twice. Um... All at the same time, knowing deep in my bones, sees who I've waited for all my life. Vera Valentine. Okay, so for some of you guys, someone could be feeling like they wanted to give you so much more when it comes to Valentine's Day. But they couldn't, but it's, they're somehow gonna, I don't know, someone wants to make up for not giving you like almost as if, like i'm seeing an energy where someone feels like you deserve so much more you are such a queen you are such a king and i feel like they didn't have enough on valentine's day or they didn't have enough on christmas or something like that so they want to make up um maybe on your birthday or whatever like again this is going to be different for all of you but this is what i'm picking up here okay um because it says vera valentine okay or someone could be saying to you, like, you're the one for me, you know, something like that. One more. Why is the love energy here? What is that energy about? We have here hippie love. <laughs> okay, look at that. You can see fireworks in the background. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is something about a party or a gathering. Okay. One more card. What is this love energy here? What is that about? Deja vu. Coming back to it was a prophecy. It was it it was not wishful thinking. It was a prophecy. So you're gonna be so happy that something in your dreams was real. Like you were not just imagining it, or it was just not wishful thinking. Your dream was a fucking prophecy, and it was it, it's like a it's such a beautiful dream, and you're almost sad that you wake up from this dream. Like oh my god, I want to go back to my dream, but this dream becomes reality because it was a prophecy. Do you see where I'm coming from? For others of you, you are about to have that dream. So you are about to have a dream of your true love and your future spouse. Okay, so you might be receiving more information about them or you might be seeing where you meet them or how or when or something like that. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Let's see, because I want to get one last card for the um, December. I don't know if someone here, this could also be if you have a spirit guide that you know is born in the winter months or in December, that's the one that is coming through here or that's the one that is speaking. Yeah, I'm also seeing you here. Yeah, I've. this is a vacation. Because I'm seeing you here sweating, like I'm <laughs> not that I'm seeing you here sweating. I'm actually seeing like the I think it's the music video by Beyonce and Jay Z called Deja Vu, and I think she's like sweating in that um, music video, and they're like in a tropical country, and she's wearing like an emerald green dress that is very flowy and boho like. Um, that's what I'm being. That's what, that could be the reason why I picked up like this Caribbean energy. So this could be like yeah, something about a vacation here. Okay, that could also be the reason time to get out of a situation. So, um, time away from work, a honeymoon. Okay, can you clarify the December card? Oh my God, look at that. It says a sincere wish will be granted. So you made a wish. Okay, in December, and it's gonna get granted very soon. Like this year, like if you made a wish last year, December, it's going to get granted this year. Okay. What is the sincere wish that is being granted? But coming back to a birthday, it's like a sincere wish coming true could be connected to a birthday, right? We have your honor and respect will come to you. Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be connected to a hairdresser. I don't know why, but when I look at the crown, like I'm being brought to the hair. 
so this could be an energy where there's good news coming to you because of your hair like there could be like um vitamins that are helping you your hair to grow back or you're gonna see that your hair is growing back because of what you take or someone can help you with your hair is what I'm seeing here could be good news or something about like a um, someone can fix your hair or someone can repair your hair um, fathers of you this is about like a jewelry piece like you've wished for a jewelry piece um, and this wish is being granted like a significant necklace or a ring or this could be like a very expensive one and you knew like I cannot just afford that is what I'm picking up here okay so this could be like a necklace or a chain or um, like a ring what is the since you wish that is coming true for others of you it says honor and respect will come to you older woman this could also be connected to a wish coming true connected to a woman like an like an older woman okay so maybe you have been wishing for an older woman to get healthy again or to I'm hearing someone's mother is going to be proud of them or something about a wish connected to your mother kind of like you wish that your mother and mother understands you or you have been wishing for a better connection with your mother I'm seeing that happening here so this could be like your mom somehow bringing good news home okay or this could be an energy where because I'm hearing I'm proud of you okay someone has been wishing that their parent would be saying they're proud of them and this is happening here okay or you're gonna be so happy that you have the money to financially help your mom here okay one more what is the sincere wish look at that it says unsuccessful plans and then we have here the bow you are highly thought of Ooh. So you have been wishing for someone to see you in a good light or to see you for who you are. It seems to be a female, okay, or that someone is remembering you, okay. <laughs> I'm hearing that song all day long, but I'm hearing the song Lucky Day, Guess. So the song is called Guess, but the guy is called Lucky Day. In the song it says... I want to give you my best, we got it as good as it gets, but what's next babe, guess, something, something you ain't gotta regret, that would make me love you no less, and I don't want to be the one you forget, so guess, say yes, okay, what the hell, I feel like there's an ex lover here in the mix, I'm not gonna lie, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I can feel this person's energy here, okay, this could even be like um, for some of you guys if you know you have like a fight with a baby mama or a baby daddy or this could be an energy where you might be coming to an agreement for this for the sake of your children and it's like good news that they are cooperating or something like that or they can take the kids last minute is what I'm seeing here as well and I don't want to be the one you forget so guess say yes oh. Yeah, for others of you, this was like a dream close to an ocean. You've been wishing for a beach vacation. You want to swim in the ocean. Someone here, you have been wishing for a new bike. I'm seeing it here. <laughs> I don't know how the bike is going to come to you, but I'm seeing it here. Someone has been wishing for a new purse. I'm seeing it here as well. Okay. I also feel like someone has been wishing for like where someone is helping you with equipment like you need equipment but you need the money to buy the equipment i'm seeing it here as well like you could be getting a voucher to buy something because someone believes in your dreams or someone believes in you let me get one last card what is this new um good news coming to pile number one anything else we have the five of cups here what is this good news coming to pile number oh shut the front door what is this good news coming to pile number one? I definitely see a breakup here. But a good one. This is good riddance. This is a good riddance breakup, okay? I'm hearing something about good news is that your enemies are finally far away from you. I don't know what that means. This could be a neighbor moving out, someone getting fired. Because we have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups here, not good energy. 
and we have a door here so for yeah for some of you guys this is also connected to i'm telling you there's good news connected to a home okay moving homes a relocation and finding an apartment maybe close to your job or someone finds an apartment close to you it's like your let's say for example your friend finds an apartment close to where you live so you can meet more often does that make sense that's what i'm seeing here as well one more Someone here could be getting good news connected to their book, okay? So if someone here is writing a book or wants to sell books or something like that, I'm seeing good news connected to someone being an author or someone selling books, okay? Or you, oh, someone could be here booked and busy. So if you're going to start offering a service, like because we have the full card here, this is new energy. So this could also be connected to a new source of income that brings a lot of money to you. Okay. Or something about where a new source of income becomes the main source of income. For others of you, this is connected to you being booked for your services. So your service, whatever service you're going to provide, it's going to really really boom or you're gonna receive like a lot of this could be yours you're receiving a lot of new clients or a lot of reoccurring clients or those clients always come back to you like i don't know how you call those clients like um clients who become like long-term clients um you could be getting new long-term clients <laughs> does that make sense um for others of you this is about a service that is being somehow when you launch something and a lot of people buy it so you could be sold out good news could be that you're gonna so sell out immediately yeah with the eight of wands selling out immediately i don't know what you're gonna do but someone is gonna sell out immediately i'm also hearing good news is that someone is not a sell out okay so someone around you could be coming back to their senses after dealing with a toxic manipulator and you're going to be like, damn, I'm so happy you're not a sellout. <laughs> but this is very specific for someone here, okay? Some of you guys, I'm also hearing, um, this is about getting accepted to a school or a class. So attending for a school, attending for a class. Someone here is getting accepted very fast or immediately or something about um, they're going to make an exception with you that they're going to like accept you is what I'm picking up here okay oh this could also be someone asking you to go out and dance okay is what i'm picking up here as well it's good news for you because you wanted a night out or you wanted to go out and dance or it's the right person asking you to go out and dance I'm just saying okay one last card anything else what is the good news that are coming to town number one we have the tower here oh wow i'm telling you i felt like a mm -mm. There's some changes to your home. Okay, this is also a fire ritual manifesting. Oh yeah, we have the fire card here. So spirit might be talking to you through fire right now, or they want you to remember a dream that was somehow connected to a candle or a fire or like a bonfire. I'm seeing a bonfire here as well. Okay, a camping trip, a bonfire. And this card, every time I see it, reminds me of eight mile <gasps> oh my gosh full circle moment what were you were the were you the pal where i said someone saw your potential before you saw it and they said like you're gonna make it big or you're gonna i believe in you or you're gonna be able to do it like you know like it's, it's a piece of cake for you like you didn't believe in yourself but someone else believed in you and they said that to you like you know you 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 already you got this you can make it something like that like don't worry about it um and they maybe have said that like maybe have said that like a few couple of years ago or recently like i know you can do it or i have i have a feeling that you're somehow gonna make it or don't know what that means or like i i feel like you know there's something special about you because in the movie 8 Mile that's exactly what this lady said to Eminem like they were in front of a swing and they were you know like there was a building caught on fire but they were like mm, putting fire on this building because it was haunted so 
side message if you felt like something was haunting you or if you felt like um there is like an energy around you that is not good for you good news is it is gone okay so something about this negative energy it's gone if you have done any ritual okay or if you have done any cleansing ritual and picking up this energy is no longer around you or this energy is no longer in your body mind soul or spirit if you felt like damn what's going on here i feel like there's so much negative energy sent my way if you felt this way i feel like it is gone because you've done a cord cutting or you've done a ritual or you've done some type of prayer or something like that so that energy is no longer there is what i'm picking up here okay um yeah, for others of you, this is a bonfire. This is like, a, I'm also seeing a beach party. Someone here has been dreaming of a beach party. I'm seeing a beach party here. Okay, I'm seeing a bonfire. I'm seeing a camping, camping party. Okay, but yeah, in the movie 8 Mile, so the movie 8 Mile could be significant for some of you guys. In the movie 8 Mile, or this could also be about rent money for some of you guys. Okay, good news about rent money or about rent or about like very low rent for an, a really good apartment. Or finding a low rent or like a you know like a bargain rent a bargain apartment with a low rent or something like that but yeah in this um, situation here she said like I feel like you're gonna make it or like there's something special about you or something along those lines that's what she said to Eminem and she was correct about it so she she's saying like her saying that was like more so a prophecy rather than just like oh this could be an energy where you thought someone would just want to flatter you like where someone just gave you a compliment just to give you a compliment but they were telling you the future or like i'm being brought to palmistry like a palm reader you're gonna remember something here from a palm reader that is somehow significant here or an astrologer okay along those lines but yeah there could be big changes happening when it comes to your career or when it comes to the career of a friend a lover or a family member but it's also affecting you positively if it's not um you okay this of you there's something about like negative energy finally being gone so the good news is that some type of negative energy is finally gone and out of your life or out of the window um something like that is what i'm picking up here or that you can finally move away from like a toxic living situation is what i'm picking up here as well okay let me see anything else some of you guys there's also good news connected to connected to candle magic so if someone practicing candle magic your candle magic is manifesting quite fast here eight of wands okay yeah true we had the eight of wands so this could be march february or um within the next 12 weeks because that would be considered fast right within the next 12 weeks for others of you if it's like something huge like you want to become a millionaire and you told yourself i want to become a millionaire within three years you might be manifesting it within one year does that make sense like something about where because again it depends on what you are trying to manifest if you're trying to manifest something huge then maybe one year is very fast see where i'm coming from so depending on what's happening in your life because i also picked up by the end of this year okay for some of you guys like by the end of this year or something is complete by the end of this year or something can be accomplished within one year or before your next birthday or something along those lines okay one more thing guys i do not know what the fuck that means but i'm also hearing because i just heard the lyrics by lucky day and the song guess and i just wanted to you know stop recording your reading and then go to pound number three but then i heard and if we're switching names in them games girl you got me okay so someone could be changing their name and because they change their name some type of success is coming to them so a name switch could bring a lot of good news and success to someone here okay or some type of rebranding if you have your own business or you have your own creative project somehow a name change or switching or changing your brand is going to bring a lot of success to you didn't we talk about how you're not afraid to start over or to start from scratch or to start with a clean slate that's the vibe that is coming through here as well okay so some type of name switch could be connected to the good news yeah this is just for someone in particular anybody who here is like a business owner or who has their project this could even be like where you change this one thing in your cv do you see say cv something about where you change the way you speak 
in a job interview or the way you will it's still the same profession but the way you word it is differently it sounds more classy in the job interview or like in your cv or in your documents and somehow that's why you're gonna get a pass or you're gonna be um, perceived um, a lot better so i don't know what the heck that means okay something about a name switch or changing a word changing a name um, and therefore you are perceived differently i have no freaking idea what the heck that means okay but it's gonna make sense to someone here <laughs> Okay, part number one, I keep wanting to end your reading, but there's always something additionally there. <laughs> okay, so for some of you guys, because with the 8th house here, you can also see like a, a pharaoh. So for some of you guys, if you have been... I'm also hearing someone who's going to ask you out on a date to go to a museum and it's going to be a beautiful, lovely day. <laughs> okay, um... But I'm also seeing here something connected to if you have been working with deities, like I'm picking up, like if you have been working with um, Egyptian mythology, like with Horus or with Sekhmet, or you have been working with Isis or something along those lines, um, there could be good news connected to that. I don't know what exactly that means, okay? Or something about where a goddess is reaching out to you with good news, or I don't know what the heck that means. Or again, I'm also saying you have the favor of a woman. So there could be a woman in power and she does like you or she does favor you, okay? Or something about this woman, um, she, yeah, she, re she, she thinks really highly of you, okay? So she sees you for who you are, is what I'm picking up here. Something about the favor of a woman or the favor of like a... But again, she seems to be like in a position of power. So I don't know what exactly that means. Or, she, or, or yes, for others of you, for example, I'm picking up the energy here of like a woman that is in a position of power inviting you to her birthday or her party or her housewarming party. So this could also be connected to good news connected to making connections or networking like where you network with the right people or you are being invited to the right places to network with the right people that are helping you to be that, that are helping you with the next stepping stones when it comes to your career or when it comes to you finding out what your purpose really is so for some of you guys this is an invitation from a woman she might be older than you or she might be in a position of power okay may that be in spirit or may that be physically so she might be throwing a party or she might be i don't know inviting you to her garden or whatever and she might be sharing yes she might be sharing golden wisdom with you and her sharing this golden wisdom with you is good news for you because it's exactly what you needed to hear okay so she's going to tell you exactly what you needed to hear is what i'm picking up here or she's gonna have she holds the answer to a very deep question that you have about yourself or about your finances for some of you guys okay let's see i'm gonna get one more card who this woman is who is this woman um this could be a female that drives a car okay or this female could really like cars or she is female but she has a lot of masculine energy she might like cars she might really like to dress like a tomboy or tomboy-ish or she maybe likes blazers and you know trousers kind of like a suit suit type of situation like she likes to dress like oversized i'm seeing oversized um jackets but like um blazers okay is what i'm being brought to or she has a tomboy-ish energy okay or she likes a lot of like mm, things that are masculine like she likes she wears biker skirts trousers she likes to ride a bike like a motorcycle um she could be someone who likes to lift weights she could be someone who um how do you call it she is really good with like craftsmanship like she's really good at, like putting furniture pieces together okay um so she could have a very masculine energy here and I feel like she's going to invite you to a party and that party is significant or that birthday is significant here, okay? Or she's the one that is going to invite you to travel with her, okay? This could be a new person. This could be a person that already is in your life. Can you clarify the woman holding a coin? 
Okay, for some of you guys, um, someone here, you could be my LGBTQ, you could be lesbi lesbian because I'm seeing this woman is going to approach you romantically. <laughs> but I, for some reason, I feel like you're a female watching me and, you know, like she's, you know, like you're lesbian basically. Um, or... For some of you guys, this woman holding a coin, if you, if you are a masculine, she... You might be falling in love with her. <laughs> okay, if you are a masculine watching me. And I'm now I'm hearing the song, I can't wait till I get you on the floor, good looking. Okay, so I do feel like it has, it might also have something to do with a night out. You know, like, you always wanted to go to a burlesque show, a magician. <gasps> We had the word Valentine, right? And I said something about where they felt like they wanted to do more for you on Valentine's Day, but they couldn't around that time. Um, so they're gonna make it up to you or whatever. Um, in one future spouse reading, I talked about Valentine's Day and I talked about a show. So I'm being brought to a musical, I'm being brought to a theater, I'm being brought to um, like a magician show, a burlesque show. And I wanted to say this reading for some reason has something to do with what happened on Valentine's Day or maybe like a, maybe a vision that you had for Valentine's Day. For example, you have been visualizing something happening on Valentine's Day. It didn't happen on Valentine's Day, but it happens on a different day. Oh, we come back to when I, when I said like deja vu and dreams and prophecies and stuff like that and wishful thinking. So maybe you had like a, an idea of what your dream Valentine's Day looks like. It didn't happen on Valentine's Day. It might happen like later. Maybe, maybe what you thought would happen on Valentine's Day happens on your birthday or something something like that or um do you know what i mean like where the timing is a little bit different compared to what you thought so this could have something to do with valentine's day i don't know what the hell that means <laughs> okay somehow this reading is connected to either christmas or valentine's day or somehow connected to a birthday in that took place in December or something that you saw or felt or heard in the month of December or um, around Valentine's Day or the beginning of February, okay? My number one. I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope you liked this reading. I hope this helped you. I'm going to see you in my next one and I wish you a lovely day. Bye. Hello, my lovely pal number two. Welcome to your reading, guys. So, we're so, as you can tell by the title, we're going to look at good news that are coming your way, that are going to make you happy, that are going to make you smile, or that are going to make you jump out of happiness, or cry out of happiness, or just giggle, or smile, or look at the sky and thank the universe, because, you know, something makes you really happy. It's good news coming your way. That's what we're going to look at, okay? Tab, I might also look at the timing. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm just going to see you know um what is going to happen during the reading but give me a moment guys i am tapping into the energy and i'm also going to zoom you guys in in a second to show you the cards okay so let me see what's going on here your reading is interesting pal number two okay because we have you the card i think i'm going to zoom you guys in you know just now okay because we have you the card um destiny and it says jod or yod i don't know how you pronounce it but for anyone who is familiar with astrology, which I'm not, <laughs> um, you will know how to pronounce it, but it basically means uh, destiny. Okay, that's the card that we have here. And I want to read something out from the guidebook, okay? Because I feel like that's very significant for this reading. And the reason why I want to read this card out, it's because it's connected to a quote in the guidebook. And the quote says, a person often meets his destiny on the road he took to avoid it. <laughs> okay, it's from Jean... It's from Jean de la Fontaine. I think, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So the quote says, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it again because I just love it. Um, it says, a person often meets his destiny on the road he took to avoid it. Okay, and I'm having a deja vu right now. Okay, I'm having a deja vu right now. This is, this is interesting. This is gonna be an interesting reading here with you guys. Um, let me show you the cards first. Okay. And then we're going to talk about everything. We also have you the card Believe, I Believe. We also have the cards here, the false person, official person, and the child. Okay. 
And we also have here the card strategy. And the card says journal luck. Okay. We have the fourth house here. You guys already know I'm not going to show every card. I'm just going to show the ones that are very significant here. As well as the two of cups. Okay. So I feel like the good news that are coming to you, pal number two, it has something to do with, first of all, it talks about that we usually meet our destiny on the road that we, that we take to avoid it, right? So the first thing that I'm picking up here for you guys, pal number two, is um, your good news has something to do with, your good news has something to do with something that you have been avoiding, okay? Um... And I'm going to pick up on different energies, so please bear with me. There's a lot coming through here, okay? So the first thing that I'm picking up here is with this quote, this tells me that your good news has actually something to do with something that you fear or something that you avoid, okay? This to me almost feels like, um, let's say for example, you... Um, because I pick up the energy here, so your your good news has something to do with a strategy working or a plan working. I'm also hearing plan B working, okay? Because I almost want to say um, you have been trying to achieve something and manifest something and plan A doesn't seem to work and I'm hearing plan B is going to work out. Something about like when you change your plan or you going to plan B or plan C is going to work out. That's the first good news that is coming through here or the first energy that I pick up here. But with the um, quote that says, we usually meet our destiny on the road where we avoid it. This to me almost feels like um, I'm trying to find like the perfect example in order to describe what is coming through here. But to me, this feels like, let's say, for example, um, someone has been telling you in order to manifest, you have to forgive somebody. Kind of like when you hold a grudge. It's just an example, okay? When you hold a grudge, um, you know, like it somehow is stunting your growth or when you hold a grudge or when you're mad at somebody um you know it's like really holding you back energetically because you know like you channel your anger towards that person and you don't channel your your energy towards your dreams and your manifestations and your wishes and stuff like that and things that make you happy and all these months and again it's going to be different for all of you what this is going to mean okay and for a couple of months you have been telling yourself like ah whatever i don't believe that i need to forgive somebody in order to manifest or i don't believe that i need to I don't believe i need to journal every day to manifest something or to achieve something okay almost as if you tried one strategy and that strategy was you know like um telling you like something is not necessary i don't know what this means again we're we're gonna dive into it but to me this feels like um you have you felt like something was not necessary like it's not necessary for me to drink a lot of water to i don't know like uh it's not necessary for me to drink a lot of water in order for me to have a clear mind or whatever you know because I almost want to say your spirit guides have been sending you signs and synchronicities to do something, but you have been avoiding it or you have been like, maybe you even have been scared. So this to me even feels like, I'm going to give one example, okay? This to me even feels like, um, and you're going to know, you know, what this means in your life, but to me this even feels like, um, someone has been telling you or your spirit guides have been telling you somehow in a dream or through a person that you know like or you've heard a person saying I'm going to therapy was the best thing that has ever happened to me and you told yourself like you know what I don't need therapy I don't need to go to therapy you know I can do this on my own you know so your plan a was to do something on your own and you were telling yourself that going to therapy is not necessary okay and then the last couple of months and weeks you have been noticing that your strategy or your plan is not working out as much as you would like it to maybe you're not as fast as you wanted to you, maybe something is not happening as fast as you wanted to or maybe you're not seeing the results that you wanted to see okay uh, may that be with manifestation may that be with love like let's say for example even a couple and you know a person says like oh we don't need couple therapy you know like um that's like for broken connections and broken relationships we don't need that you know and your spirit guides have been telling you don't be scared okay? and i feel like within the last couple of days or weeks you have been telling yourself you know what i've tried everything under the sun maybe i should try 
what I think is not gonna work okay so again let's say for example someone says in order to manifest you should journal every day and you haven't been doing that because maybe in the last couple of years you were manifesting without journaling like you didn't need to journal like again coming back to you use this strategy in order to get something done in order to I don't know do something you know in order to achieve something but you've noticed that you hit a plateau and nothing is happening anymore nothing is growing anymore or you don't see the progress that you want to see but you are sticking to your your strategy because maybe you have been afraid to switch things up or maybe you have been afraid to try something different kind of like where you want to stick with the tried and true but whatever you whatever the strategy is it's no longer working okay whatever this is this could even be like a hair product that is no longer working for you this could be a routine that is no longer working for you this could even be a connection that is no longer working for you or kind of like a source of motivation like this used to motivate you it doesn't motivate you anymore like but you have been sticking to it because you're still associated with your source of motivation even though it's no longer your source of motivation does that make sense so this to me feels like plan A is somehow not working out. You feel like, damn, plan A is not working out and stuff like that. Let me try plan B or let me try plan C. And the good news is that plan C or plan B is working. Does that make sense? Something about where you change up the strategy as to how you do something, okay? Um, this to me feels like, um, again, something about where you have been avoiding something like, oh, I don't believe I need to drink water, like water is not going to help me to manifest, but it has like a huge ripple effect where the very thing that you thought is not going to help you out or the very thing that you thought you don't need is the very thing that you needed all along. Does that make sense? So again, it's going to be different for all of you what this means, but the good news is that I'm hearing people's gossip was true like you've i feel like you've heard people talking about it kind of like you know when you drink more water your brain gets more oxygen and when you have more oxygen in your brain your brain is more clear-minded and your anxiety goes down but you know initially it doesn't sound logical initially it doesn't sound like why would i have less anxiety just by drinking more water but maybe you have been hearing people talk about it, like oh you know ever since i drink a lot more water i can see my skin is clearing up and stuff like that but you have been maybe trying supplements you have been trying creams you have been trying all kinds of like serums and stuff like that and facial scraps you know and you told yourself like i don't think i need water i don't think this is going to help me out with my problem or with what i'm trying to do here and then you come to the conclusion i don't know if you already are in this energy or you will be the next couple of days okay you're gonna come to the conclusion you know what one thing that i didn't try okay one thing that i didn't try on my list is the very thing that i like that i am suspicious of okay because i wouldn't say you don't believe in it but you thought like again you thought that maybe when you put like a lot of facial scraps just an example okay when you try a lot of facial scraps and stuff like that 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 would heal your skin um but you have been hearing people talking about like if you drink a lot of water if you drink celery juice and stuff like that you know like if you try to heal your skin from the inside that's when you're going to see huge results but again you were suspicious of it like let me try what i think is right first before i try what you know other people are suggesting to me that that's the vibe that is coming through here okay and i feel like you're somehow gonna look at your list metaphorically speaking like what is something that i haven't yet tried you know let me try the very thing that i'm suspicious of i don't really you know know if it's gonna work out or not okay um for others of you this is the very thing that you again have been avoiding kind of like where you have been avoiding a topic or you have been avoiding a conversation or you have been avoiding i don't know like uh you have been avoiding something i'm going to give you one example okay this could even be like you feeling like i don't think my anxiety has anything to do with me being on social media right but you have been hearing it here and there like left and right people talking about like how you know maybe they healed their social anxiety because they're um somehow did a social media detox or a sugar detox or this and that and this and that you know and i feel like you are about to try it or you already are in the energy of trying it something about where you change your strategy or you change your routine and um it's 
good news are coming to you because you change something that you it's almost like you try something that you were suspicious of so you were open enough to experiment and try something that you didn't fully believe in or again you wanted to try what you think is right first before you take the recommendation or the suggestion of other people and that's the vibe that is coming through here okay so the good news is that I'm hearing like the gossip was, was right or the hype was right. Maybe even, for example, someone, um, you know, hyping up like a lifestyle lifestyle or whatever, or someone even hyping up like a product. And you think like, I don't think this product is going to be like, you know, it's all natural. And usually I um, use things that are more chemical. I don't usually use natural stuff. And then you use that natural stuff and it's like, God damn, I've never seen such results. So you were suspicious of it, but you were open enough to try it. So you changed your strategy. Does that make sense? And because of you changing your strategy or because of you changing your approach, that's why good news is coming to you. Okay, um, so that's the vibe that is coming through here. There's something about like, I'm suspicious of it. I'm not really sure if I believe it or not, but let me try it out before I, um, let me try it out before I judge it. Okay, I think I did talk about that on Patreon. Um, it was a reading called Why 2024 is Gonna Be Your Year. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Maybe you guys want to watch that video. Um, if you want to, I'm going to put the link down in the description box. It's about your 2024 and what is going to make 2024 your year. Okay, if you're interested in that, again, I'm going to put it down in the description box next to your pile. Um, but I talked about how someone is like someone's someone is having the year of their life in 2024 because they try something that um, looks intimidating or that looks like a lot of work or that looks suspicious, you know, like kind of like when you look at something like, I don't know if that's going to work, you know, like. I don't know like for example holy water or whatever like I don't know if I believe in holy water I don't know what to think about that you know but again you're open enough and you are aware enough to know that you don't know everything right it's kind of like you know what I don't know everything it's just what I'm suspecting or like I'm suspicious of it but let me try it out anyway because you know like the universe is full of surprises so I'm gonna try it out so whatever this is okay something about it either looks intimidating or maybe you have been eyeing it for some time but you didn't know if you should do it or not that's the vibe that is coming through here and as soon as you go in that direction there's good news coming to you i'm hearing you are attracting big happy changes or something about like your destiny is unfolding exactly the thing that you have been suspicious of you have been eyeing it like should i walk in this direction should i go there should i call should i make an appointment there and that's exactly when you walk in that direction because again you have been eyeing it for some weeks for some time coming back to for example you have been trying everything under the sun to calm your anxiety okay and you felt like no it has nothing to do with like my screen time on my phone or i don't think it has something to do with me watching you know like this youtuber or whatever you know like where you maybe watch drama channels or you watch some type of gossip and um maybe you even have been feeling like hmm, every time i watch this i'm starting to notice my anxiety is rising but you have been like telling yourself like again you are exaggerating or it's just in your mind you're just you know imagining stuff but then you are like you know what let me try it out let me try not to watch this anymore and then you notice that your anxiety comes down okay and then you're like oh wow so the very thing that i was suspicious of but i didn't really believe in or i was avoiding it or you, you know what i mean that's the vibe that is coming through here okay and somehow you are creating like big happy changes because for the destiny card to come out it means that you making a small change changes your life that's what it feels like to me here this is not just like um you know like a small little change that is coming through here this is like for me this feels like a big change almost as if like your reality is shifting just because of like little changes that you do or because you change your strategy again there's something going on with like i'm usually doing it like that but let me try it this way i don't believe in this way because i you know it's not tried and true right you stick to your tried and true so you're noticing like damn 
you know what, I never tried it that way. And whatever that way means is exactly where there's big happy changes happening, okay? This could even be like a manifestation technique, even be a manifestation technique that you have been eyeing, but you felt like, you know what, I don't, I don't think I want to do that, or it sounds like a lot of work to me to do that, or I don't know, I'm suspicious of it, I don't know what this means, or you know what, um, that's not how I usually do things, you know? I'm going to stick to how I usually do things. So you changing your, again, manifestation technique or whatever, or your routine, waking up one hour earlier, there's something going on with where you change your strategy. Plan A somehow doesn't work out, and then you go to plan B or plan C. That's what it feels like to me here, okay? To me also, the energy that is also coming through here is, um, because we have the change card here, we have the word here, change twice. So the very thing that you thought is not going to change your life is the very thing that is changing your life. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, we also have here the card um, set yourself free. We also have here the energy set yourself free, change the energy hexes and evil eyes are being broken now. Okay, now another thing that I'm picking up here is um, <clears throat> because we have here the card pay attention to your health. <laughs> okay, um, for some of you guys, it's not going to be for everybody, but for some of you guys, I'm also picking up the energy here of where, and I'm very careful with my words here, but to me, this also feels like where, for some of you guys, you have accepted some type of health issue, like there's no cure to it, or there is nothing that I can do about it, or there's nothing that I can change about it. Maybe you have been trying again a lot of things, a lot of supplements, a lot of medication, in order to fix some type of health issue and you thought that there is no fixing that you just have to live with it it is just your destiny to have these health issues but i almost want to say there is a person here because we have the two of cups here okay we have the two of cups here and I almost want to say there is a person you're going to somehow have a conversation with a person and then they're going to tell you like hey, there is a cure or hey, there is something that you can do about it. Maybe you cannot cure it like completely, but you can somehow um, make it better, you know, like where you can change something about your situation like you thought. You couldn't change something, but you actually can. That's another like good news coming to you where you thought you cannot like you cannot change something but you actually can like you cannot change the situation where something can no longer be changed let's say for example you know like this is just like a small example for example where you already sent out like an order or something along those lines and you damn and if you tell yourself like damn i probably cannot change anything anymore about it but then you call and then they're telling you hey you you called right in time in order for me to still make some changes that's the vibe that i'm picking up here as well okay so this could also be connected to documents and um, if it's not health this could be connected to documents because we have the strategy card here so something about like where you thought um for example, there's like a fixed date and you think you cannot reschedule, but you actually can. Kind of like good news, hey, we can give you a little bit more time. Um, let's say, for example, you have to somehow submit some type of documents and you think like you cannot do anything about the date or the due date, but you actually can. Like once you approach this teacher or this person, you can actually change the due date or you can somehow get some additional two weeks or one month in order for you to somehow arrange something is what I'm picking up here. Okay, so this could be something as well here where you're giving a call to somebody because it has something to do with you talking to another person here. Um, and they maybe are, you know, expressing to you, you taught, you called right in time or there is something that we can do about this, you know, something about, again, where you thought, this is just my destiny, I just have to live with it. And then someone is telling you, hey, you don't have to live with that because, you know, I found something, I found a cure, I found a medication, I found this, I found that, why don't you try it out? And that's kind of like your plan B or your plan C, or that's you taking the suggestion of somebody and it literally changes your life. But again, your heart was open enough or you were aware enough to understand like, damn, you know, like I don't have all the answers, so I'm open to maybe receive the answer from another person. And so the answer for, could come from another person, okay? I'm going to be very, very honest, okay? I don't know who this is for. But I was watching, um, I was watching, 
a guy here on YouTube. He used to do tarot readings. He doesn't anymore. Like, I think he's just, you know, he... I mean, I think he still does tarot readings, but like he's not posting anything anymore. He currently lives in Australia, so Australia could be significant. Someone who could be watching me from Australia, or maybe you watch a documentary about Australia and like all the animals and stuff like that, you know? Something about Australia, like, like the energy of Australia could be around you. I don't know why, okay? Or you had a dream of Australia for some of you guys. Um, so he was, I think he was Irish, if I'm not mistaken. So Irish energy could also be significant here. Um, as well as he lived in England. So English energy could be significant here as well. The UK, I don't know why, okay. Um, so he told a story on his YouTube channel about how some of his family members, um, you know, like, his sister's you know spouse had health issues and the doctors couldn't do anything for him like he went to you know the normal western doctors they couldn't do anything for him and it looked very gloom doom like there's nothing that can be done about it there's no cure and stuff like that um and then you know this guy because he was like a psychic as well um i think he somehow channeled that message that the guy like the spouse of his um sister should go to like an alternative healer and it was specifically about because i don't really know i hope you guys if because i could be talking to someone specifically here because i feel like it's significant for me to say it but i don't think it's for everybody so this was like a doom gloom situation about like he has to live with this condition there's nothing that he can do about it that's what the western medicine told him you know like or like the western doctors and i have nothing against western doctors at all i'm just saying like that's like a you know like a message that is coming through here um, so he didn't have anything to lose, right? So he went to like an alternative doctor, or, like alternative medicine, but it was specifically about, I don't know how you call it, but it's kind of like where you scan the body to see the frequency in the body because a healthy body has a frequency and when something is not healthy in the body, it also shows a different frequency. It shows a structure, kind of like when you look into when you look at water under a microscope and it somehow um, forms like a picture you know like when the body is completely um healed or like healthy the frequency shows like a like a like a like a picture or like a it somehow shows a pattern so when something is out of alignment it also shows a pattern i don't know how you call it something about bio bio something i don't know what it means i hope you guys find it or if i know if i can find it i'm going to somehow put it here it might be significant for someone here so what they do and again coming back to kind of like a different alternative something about where you choose to explore an alternative okay because this is alternative medicine this is like maybe something that is still in the process of being innovated right because we have the tried and true but then there's also things that are still being innovated currently at this moment right new medicine is being innovated new things are being innovated and stuff like that that can help with issues that we thought could not be helped okay so basically in that process you look at the whole body and you scan it and you look at the frequency and the pattern that the frequency is forming inside of the body and then you somehow um tune like where and they somehow see which frequency belongs to that part of the body and and then they somehow create like a liquid that has the frequency of healthy energy and the person has to ingest that water or that liquid i don't know what this is and somehow it's supposed to balance out the frequency and the energy in the body and come to his surprise this medicine that was again still in the innovation stage it's still not like you know it's not like um it's not public knowledge or it's not like worldwide known that this actually works you know so it's still in the process of you know like um testing and you know stuff like that but it actually worked for him so what was not able to be cured or fixed or changed actually his whole life changed because he tried an alternative so again if i find i think this is biochemist biochemistry 
biochemists something along those lines i don't know what this exactly means but again i'm gonna put it somewhere here in the description box and again for others of you it's the same thing if it's not connected to health there's something about because you try an alternative is the reason why your whole life is changing this to me feels like a big life change to be honest with you because the destiny card usually means like a huge turning point in someone's life a huge turning point in your career in your love life you know where it's kind of like the sliding doors movie where there's two realities um there's something about um it's because you decide to redirect your focus or because you redirect your strategy or something along the sense that your whole life is changing here to be honest with you i'm not gonna lie okay um for others of you this is even an energy because i also wrote down health is wealth for some of you guys you have been hearing people talking about like you have to be healthy in order to manifest or you have to be healthy in order to attract a partner or you, you have to be healthy in order to I don't know make something big happen in your life and you have been kind of like eyeing it like do i really have to be like super duper healthy in order to get what i want like do i really have to do you know what i mean kind of like where um you have been suspicious like is that really true you know like that you have to be like healthy or whatever and i pick up the energy here for a lot of you guys you have been or you will be really really focusing like laser focusing on your health okay whatever that means your mental health your physical health your spiritual health whatever it is almost like you are laser focused on your health and you will see like god damn so this was true I, I keep hearing it kind of like that the gossip was true like people gossiping about like health as well or there's like truth behind like quotes such as health is wealth or you meet your destiny on the road to avoid it you know all these things where you have been again you have been eyeing it so your soul already has been telling you to walk in that direction but i feel like you have been a little bit like i wouldn't say stubborn but i feel like you have been careful what kind of suggestions you take on or who you listen to okay so yeah that's also the energy that i pick up here kind of like where health really is health um, wealth really is health so for some of you guys there's something going on with good news when it comes to your health okay and for others of you this is good news coming to you financially because you are so like top-notch with your health that's what it feels like to me here as well or again will you somehow switch something up that makes you the healthiest version of yourself and therefore you have so much energy so much life force to manifest these big things does it make sense but maybe you have been avoiding the topic health maybe not consciously but kind of like no i don't have time to eat eat healthy i don't have time to eat healthy i don't have time to make myself a smoothie every morning i don't have time to meditate every day i don't have time to um you know like i don't i don't have time to sleep i need to get to work and stuff like that and then you realize like damn you know i'm not getting anywhere so you start to you know, you know what? Let me just try it out. Let me see what happens when I um, sleep more. Then you notice, oh, you know, things are changing here. I'm seeing a change. You start to drink smoothies every other day or every day. Like, oh, wow. You know, so it's kind of like, again, you have been thinking to yourself, like you don't have time for health, but you making time for health is the reason why you actually get to your goal super duper fast. So there's something about the good news is that um, certain quotes or certain like wisdom is true like there's truth behind those quotes and that wisdom okay and for others of you this is definitely good news about your health is what I'm picking up here okay especially also when it comes to therapy like maybe you will have a breakthrough very soon where your therapist is telling you like I'm so proud of you I'm seeing so much progress or I feel like you don't need to come to therapy anymore or something about like a life-changing therapy session where you're gonna come out and you're gonna feel like a newborn baby or you're gonna feel like a newborn just energetically speaking because you're finally free of like a trauma or you're finally free of like a fear that you had okay um for some of you guys so I'm definitely seeing like a huge breakthrough for someone here who goes to therapy and you're going to receive good news in your therapy that you don't have to take certain supplements or you don't have to take a medication anymore or again coming back to like phys your physical body where you maybe have to take something in order to balance out the hormones in your body and I feel like you are about to receive good news from your doctor that you no longer have to you know take these supplements or take this medication because um you know like uh your body is you know like adjusting well or your body is doing very well for others of you this is even an energy where you have been worried about your health and i'm seeing like you know like there's like if you would go to a doctor and of course always you know like i'm not a professional so please go to a doctor if you have 
you know like thoughts about like bad health or whatever but i'm seeing here you are receiving good news about your health or you are receiving news about your health that hey this can be fixed don't worry about it you know um you know we have something here you can take that it's going to be fixable so don't worry about it okay or something is not going to be a long-term issue something along those lines okay for some of you guys i'm going to be very honest here okay for some of you guys the good news is that a pregnancy test is negative so i don't know somebody could be thinking like damn am i pregnant and you're kind of super scared like you're so scared like oh my god what am i gonna do when i'm scared you know uh, what am i gonna do when i'm pregnant because we have the child we have the child and the children card here twice so for some of you guys um it's the energy here of um someone here could be happy that they have a negative pregnancy test like oh my god you know i don't know what i would have done and for others of you this is actually a positive pregnancy test so depending on because we talk about good news right so if you don't want to get pregnant the positive like the good news would be that you are not pregnant but if you do want to get pregnant i'm seeing a positive pregnancy test here because we have the children card here twice okay I'm also hearing a miracle baby because someone here your fertility is not the best or you do have certain issues here okay or again for some of you guys could even be like you're thinking oh my god do i have health issues but you're actually pregnant but again it's only for the people i mean it's good news here okay um so this is somehow going to be significant for someone here um now another thing that i'm picking up here guys okay we have here the official person Okay, and we have the Two of Cups here. Let me show that to you. Okay. Now, the official person in the Lenormand deck usually talks about a an individual that is very hard to deal with. Okay, this is a person who doesn't smile they don't laugh they are very serious you know like you cannot just joke around with them they usually don't like people they don't trust people this is like a person who is not easy to deal with does that make sense this would for example be you know like i don't know like the energy of a lawyer you know or the energy of a i don't know like a person who usually is very serious they could possibly even be a little bit grumpy or whatever or again like a very serious situation that maybe they have to be serious like a police officer a police officer has to be serious right or they just take on a very serious energy because of their profession that's the vibe that is coming through here from this official person okay the good news is this person this man or this woman that is usually very serious that is usually very that doesn't smile okay they could come off as cr grumpy or have a, like a resting bitch face and stuff like that they usually don't like people good news is good news is that they like you i think i talked about that in a different reading it was the next seven day prediction because with the mirror here to me this feels like this individual again this is a person people fear this person or people are intimidated by him or by her because they look like um they have a resting bitch face or maybe the way that they're dressed um it comes off like this person is very intimidating to people may that be because of their face or their profession or they look very serious okay um and the funny thing is that this individual is actually going to like you okay um for some of you guys this individual is going to like you and again it's good news because they will be able to help you it comes back to um you being helped okay or something about where we're gonna dive into it in a second so the first thing that i'm picking up here is this person will see something inside of you that reminds them of themselves does that make sense like you will remind them of a younger version of themselves or you will remind them of you know like kind of like where your energy is so sweet and so kind and so honest that you touch this person's soul and you touch this person's heart so usually they're very grumpy but because of you they're going to start smiling or they're going to start laughing or you're going to be the reason why they have like a very very intense um laughing flash or how do you call it like when you cannot stop laughing you know they will start to intensely like laugh or you somehow touch this person's heart or you somehow touch this person's soul so usually they are very cold but they're gonna kind of like where you warm or you where you melt someone's heart or where you warm someone's heart because you have such a genuine kind sweet energy and this person all of a sudden is gonna smile or they're somehow going to get out of that serious energy okay and again i'm picking up the energy here where they're going to help you out of a situation for example okay 
I'm going to give you one example because I also pick up the energy here of Okay, I'm going to give you one example. Okay, I'm actually going to give you two examples. Let's say, for example, um, you are always the black sheep. Okay, you have very, um, you have a fair share of your experiences where you have been the black sheep and people don't like you because you're different, because you dress alternative, because you have a different life, so you have a different belief system, because you, I don't know, whatever. So. You have a fair share of people not liking you or you are sometimes the black sheep in certain situations, right? Let's say, for example, you meet a man, okay? You meet a man, he's your true love and your future spouse, and you are so scared to meet his parents or his family because you know that you are very untraditional. There's something about traditions and breaking traditions here in your energy, kind of like a very untraditional energy here, okay? This, for example, would be an untraditional officer. This would be an untraditional doctor coming back to that energy, okay? Where usually, you know, like, or very untraditional, like, let's say, for example, this is even like when it comes to culture, let's say, for example, you're Indian and you know that in India, there's very intense, um, there's, ver there's a lot of people being very traditional and therefore you, they don't necessarily like you because you are very untraditional or you start to somehow you try to somehow break generational patterns, but that also means that you go against traditions and therefore you are looked at as the black sheep in your culture or do you know what I mean? Or when it comes to your heritage or your ancestry um, or the country that you live in, you know? And then of course you have like this, you know, trauma in your head, like, oh my God, you know, I'm so scared to meet my in-laws or I'm so scared to meet the mother of my new boyfriend or my new girlfriend because I'm so untraditional and people usually don't like me. The good news is whoever this person is here, okay, because this is a person, they are very untraditional. Does that make sense? This would be an untraditional man or woman or an untraditional in-law that would totally accept you with an open heart because they are they are untraditional themselves. Do you see where I'm coming from? So it's kind of like one black sheep meets another black sheep, but this other black sheep is this guy's. So he might look like a police officer, just an example. Um, but it's kind of like the energy where, let's say for example, it's a teacher, okay? Let's say for example, it's a teacher and that teacher tells you like, hey, you know, like you somehow, f some something is wrong here, you know, like, or, where it's, it's like the vibe of a teacher giving you a second chance because the teacher remembers he was young too at some point, you know? So this teacher is remembering like, damn, I was young once too. And I remember how that teacher back in the days get, didn't give me a second chance and it broke my heart and I don't want to be this person. So I'm going to give pal number two a second chance. Do you see where I'm coming from? So you're somehow going to touch someone's heart and it seems to be like a person that usually, again, doesn't get touched. This is a person who usually is very cold or very logical or... I don't know, they usually don't like to have small talks and stuff like that, you know? And this is the vibe that is coming through. You're kind of like a teacher that gives somebody a second or a third chance when it comes to a presentation. Maybe they're gonna somehow break a break a rule themselves because they feel like you deserve a second chance or again, they see something inside of you that reminds them of themselves. Like, oh man, do you remember back in the days I was such a rebel myself, you know, like, and my family didn't like, did, my, my family abandoned me, you know, because I was such a rebel. And that's why they're going to welcome you with an open heart because they remember when they were younger, their family didn't understand them and they don't want to make the same mistake. Do you see where I'm coming from? This is someone remembering the pain that they felt when they were younger. They're going to look at you and they're going to see the same pain in your eyes when you express your feelings or when you somehow talk about something that is, you know, like on your chest or something that is burdening you. Because for some of you guys, again, this could be health issues. For others of you, this could be something connected to a document. For some of you guys, this could be connected to a teacher and an exam, getting a second or a third chance. Or again, that something can be fixed. Talking about your grades, okay, is what I'm picking up here. Talking about like um, a loophole how to get you out of a situation because this person feels like you deserve it you have a good heart you're not a bad person maybe you made a mistake you know but you're not a bad person that's a vibe that is coming through here I don't know what exactly this means or in which context this is or someone gives you like the chance to show them who you are you know how some people judge you and they don't even want 
you to introduce yourself like some people judge you before you even introduce yourself but again this to me feels like um a very kind grandma a very kind grandpa a very kind like official or like someone that works in the government that is very kind or again they this is like a person they remember their soul or their humanity or they remember like um a feeling of community or a feeling of like love inside of their heart when they look at you because you have so much love in your aura that you're going to make them remember like damn i was once young too or i made the same mistake as pile number two so i'm going to help pile number two or they want to start mentoring you or they want to start helping you you know like with in with nothing in return just because it it pains them to think back to their past when no one when no one was there for them does that make sense that's the vibe that is coming through you so um, I don't know what exactly this means in your life, how exactly this is going to make sense here. So the good news here would be that someone is just as untraditional as you are, okay, but they might look traditional or they might be disguised or they, again, maybe look like a very traditional person, but they're the complete opposite. They're just as untraditional as you or they're just a, they're a black sheep just like you or they believe something in something different just like you this is even an energy where you meet somebody who has the same beliefs as you but you might think they're like the opposite like damn we don't match we don't fit together i'm spiritual they are not and then you find out they are spiritual too does that make sense so this could even be an energy where you think someone is not spiritual but once you talk to them they're so spiritual and you're like a perfect match so in the beginning it looks like a mismatch like damn we're not gonna um, get along or we're not gonna this person's not gonna understand me this person's not gonna accept me but then you realize like it's a perfect match like this energy is a perfect match or you have very very similar belief systems or you think very very similar okay because we have the pisces i believe energy here okay so that's the vibe that i'm picking up here and this could possibly even be a person who um kind of like decides over your fate or decides over what is happening in your life because they somehow are in a position of power maybe they have to give you a signature maybe they have to make a call for you maybe they have to write about you know your character i don't know what that means or maybe they have to for example coming back to in-laws giving you giving their blessings to a relationship or a connection does that make sense something along those lines or they're gonna somehow connect you to a different person so again this is something about like a match made in heaven disguised as a mismatch <laughs> that's the vibe that is coming through here because you're gonna look at this person you're gonna be like i don't think this is gonna work out here <laughs> okay or i don't know like this person maybe looks very put together and you think you're too messy but they just look put together they're just as messy as you you know or something along those lines is what i'm picking up here okay for some of you guys this could be quite literally like your in-laws because for some odd reason i do pick up in-law energy for some of you guys not for everybody okay and also on the flip side this could even be an energy where you are very traditional and you feel like um it's not easy to find people that are just as traditional as you so this could even be the opposite because the fourth house talks about traditions it talks about roots okay so it's almost like the energy where your energy is a perfect match with another person's energy but it doesn't look like it in the f like at first glance only when you come a little closer okay that's the vibe that i'm picking up here and again it could how somehow it could somehow um it could somehow benefit you financially spiritually emotionally when it comes to bureaucracy when it comes to your studies when it comes to your education i don't know what that means okay but yeah the fourth house talks about tradition so this could even be the opposite where you're super traditional or you are a very, yeah very, a very traditional individual and you feel like you're always mm, people always side eye you for being so traditional because we live in a world that is all about breaking rules and all about like um not following traditions and stuff like that and you're gonna be so surprised that this person looks very alternative but they're very very traditional the complete opposite so they might look alternative they might look like damn this is like a rule breaker this is a troublemaker and then you find out they have like they have those traditional beliefs and those traditional like rituals just like you okay so this could be the complete opposite <laughs> again i'm telling you it's a match made in heaven but in the beginning it doesn't look like it it's kind of like disguise is what i'm picking up here possibly because it's someone's profession 
and someone has to act professional but you know like their their character like their profession it's like a different person compared to who they are in their free time and you're going to meet the person who they are in their free time and not the professional if that makes sense i hope i'm making sense here okay so for a lot of you guys i feel like those good news that are coming to you so that you don't have to do something on your own because when, when i looked at those two cards right here i also picked up the energy of like a child that is somehow very very scared of something kind of like i'm seeing a child in a room you know like where the parent says you know like um it's time for bed you know like you have to go to bed and then the child is scared of what is inside of the wardrobe like you know it's like dark and you know scary and stuff like that and then the child is asking the dad or the mom can you look into the wardrobe if there is something and then the you know the parent is there or where the child is like you know sleeping next to the parent because they're scared or because there's thunder um is what i'm picking up that's a that's a vibe that came through here okay and it doesn't have to be a parent but this is like a person who's going to guide you and hold your hand while you are scared or while you are facing your fear so good news is you don't have to do something on your own or you're going to feel like your spirit guides are right next to you even if it's not physically a person sitting next to you but you're going to feel the energy of your spirit guide so much so that you're going to lose your fear of doing something calling somewhere making an appointment facing something okay there's something about you're going to feel like you're not doing this alone or you don't have to do something on your own okay so good news is this could even be someone keeping you company while you are driving somewhere like you know, someone is going to call you like, hey, do you want me to come with you? I know you're a little bit nervous about it. Do you want me to come with you? I have time. So the good news is someone is going to keep you company as you are driving somewhere, as you are having a conversation, as you are getting your errands done, as you are having this presentation. Someone is, you know, like in the in the audience cheering you on you know like giving you like this feeling of like okay you know i'm not alone in this that's the vibe that is coming through here as well okay for some of you guys this could be connected to um you receiving good news when it comes to your child this could be receiving good news when it comes to the health of your child this could be good news when it comes to your pregnancy in case someone is pregnant right now okay this could be good news when it comes to somehow the progress of your child that maybe the grades are getting better from your child or maybe you know the therapist is noticing a positive change in your child you know is what i'm picking up here as well in case someone has children here okay something about good news connected to your child maybe a medication is working when it comes to your child or maybe like a new parenting new parenting style is working when it comes to your child so maybe your child is behaving a lot better or again their grades are a lot better or maybe they're finally gaining weight they're eating again okay something along those lines is what i'm picking up here as well I'm also picking up the energy oh, sorry guys i just have to you know <laughs> i'm writing notes right now because there's so much coming through in your um in your pal okay guys again this is also connected to a second or a third chance that you get a second chance or you get a third chance at something or someone feels like you dirt you deserve a second or a third chance okay is what i'm picking up here as well because they know this could even be an energy where a person believes in like who you are and they want to give you a second chance because they know the first time you did something you were just nervous i don't know what that means okay this could even be like for example okay do you know what i'm also hearing I'm also hearing something about where the first date with someone doesn't go well, especially if you are male. If you're male watching me and you went on a date with someone and you feel like you fucked up, this person knows that you are that you were nervous and they still like you. Like they can see the you behind the nervousness and they want to go on a second date with you. So I'm also picking up good news is a second date, a second meeting, or something about like, yeah, a person's calling you back, they want to see you again. Oh yeah, for example, a casting or something along the lines but i feel like you you feel like you fucked up or you failed or something along the lines but they're gonna be like we see your potential like come again we see your potential like we know you were nervous the first time around or something along those lines okay this could also be for some of you guys the good news that is coming to you is that if you have been working on reprogramming your subconscious mind the good news is that you're going to see 
that it is working something about we have been trying to listen to positive affirmations at night or in the morning and you have been trying to reprogram your subconscious mind in order to have like positive thoughts in your mind and the good news is that it is working or so you're basically going to notice damn it is really working like my mind is really positive and i'm starting to manifest a lot of positive things into my life because um my mind is so positive okay so something about like there's going to be like a, a change in your brain or in your mind you're going to notice it like if you would document it you would notice like damn my mind is very very like positive lately so the work that i've done in order to program my subconscious mind is working okay now let's get to the last message here um we have here the false person okay and this is not going to be a message for everybody, but you will know if it's your message, okay? And with the Pisces card, it says, I believe, and I'm hearing, I believe you. So another good message or another good news that is coming to you is that someone believes you because you expressed worry or concern or you expressed that someone is not who they seem, who they seem to be. So you told a person or you will tell a person I don't think this person is good for you. I don't trust this person. There's something wrong with this person. Um, this person cannot be trusted. This person is a snake. So you have been telling somebody or you will be telling somebody something is not right with this person. You know, like I don't want to, you know, like I usually don't want to somehow interrupt you or but I worry about you. Or again, this could be an energy where you might be expressing that someone is lying. Like this person is lying on my name. I didn't even do that. I didn't say that. Um, something about where you expressed or you will express that someone is a false person or someone is fake or someone cannot be trusted. And I'm hearing someone saying, I believe you. Okay, so there's something going on with the good news is that someone believes you. Someone believes your crazy story that you saw a spirit guide or whatever or someone believes you that you know like you got set up or someone believes you that someone is lying on your name or someone believes you that someone is fake and just pretending okay is what I'm picking up here. So there's something about where someone believes you that you are right about a fake person. This could even be an energy where maybe this person didn't believe you first, but they're going to believe you. So coming the next couple of days and weeks, they're going to express to you that they believe you or that they should have trusted your judgment okay so they're gonna someone is gonna take you serious or someone is gonna take your concern serious or someone is gonna yeah someone is gonna take you serious you know they're gonna be like yeah you're right i see it too now so someone could be seeing that you are right all along so they're going to express i believe you and maybe you even have like you know a fair share of people not believing you so someone saying i believe you it's like it heals your soul because people usually don't believe you or whatever does that make sense when someone says or when this person says i believe you it's going to heal you inside because usually people make you out to be a storyteller or maybe you know again like certain people they have been lying on your name for years for months for weeks okay so that's something that i'm seeing here as well um I was asking who the two of cups is we have a mature man here okay we have a mature man here we have family so this could be connected to a family member believing you about another family member being fake or a family member believing you that a teacher is mistreating you on purpose you know or a family member um again coming back to in-laws this energy also feels to me like in-laws where you have been worried about you know what your in-laws are going to think about you because you are very untraditional or you are very traditional and um they're just like you like this in-law when they were younger they were just like you <laughs> does that make sense that's what i'm picking up here as well so yeah this seems to be or again this could even be a police officer they were just like you when they were younger this could be a lawyer that was just like you when they were younger does that make sense that's a vibe that is coming through here okay and for others of you this definitely seems to be a pregnancy i'm not gonna lie or a childhood friend so whoever this person is that is going to make you feel like you're not alone in this okay that they're holding your hand or they're they're with you in their thoughts um this could be a childhood friend okay this could be a child in general like where a child is going to make you feel this way that they're there for you or they believe you okay is what i'm picking up here um this could be a grandpa this could be a dad 
This could just be a mature man in general. Again, this seems to be a masculine energy here. This could also, I'm also hearing a family man, okay? So this could be a man that they believe in family, okay? This could be, a, yeah, a, a very family-oriented masculine energy. A family man is what I'm hearing. I am also hearing, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, listen, listen. For some of you guys, I'm seeing you are kind of worried to tell somebody or if this is going to happen within the next couple of days because we talk about good news coming to you the next days, right? This could be an energy where you're going to go on a date with a guy and you're like, oh damn, you know, I don't want to tell him. Or again, you might be a masculine, I don't want to tell her that I already have a child. So you might be like scared to say to somebody, I already have a child because you feel like it scares men away or it scares women away or it scared somebody away in your past. Come to find out they are also a single dad. Like I'm picking up a single mom, like a single mom meeting a single dad. <laughs> okay, or I'm seeing an energy here where a single mom is meeting a man and they this man loves children. Like they always wanted children. They always dreamed of having their own children. So they're gonna be so happy to kind of like raise your child with you because they love children. Or this could be a man who works in the kindergarten. So they're always around children. So they have, their, there's like they actually like enjoy, you know, like a woman with a child child or you know something along those lines or like a single mom meeting a single dad and it's like a perfect match but from the outside or from the beginning it looks like mm, you know like uh, I don't know what's going to happen when I tell him I have a child you know because it might be you know what I mean this is what I'm picking up here as well okay or the good news is that your child likes your new partners what I'm picking up here as well or the good news is that um you know like again like something about where your partner or this person this new person that you're meeting they're going to have a very very intense bond with this child does that make sense like where well, your child is going to be like I like this guy <laughs> and you, your child usually doesn't like other people or your child is usually very like they don't trust people your child always shows you that they don't like people do you know what I mean something along the lines is what I'm picking up here as well <laughs> which is super duper funny let me get one more card here okay one more card this could also be a dad I'm also seeing a dad saying I believe you I'm sorry I didn't believe you or um, something along those lines because we have the king and the queen of cups here and I'm telling you this is like a perfect match the king and the queen of cups it's a perfect match they're made from the same cloth they have the same energy they have a similar belief systems they grew up similar or had a ch similar childhood here okay for others of you the good news is about um, a false person being exposed okay where a false person is being exposed or a false person is getting caught red-handed so i'm also seeing like good news is that someone is breaking up with a false person or um, a false person is being fired okay is what i'm seeing here or a false per person is um, facing their cons the consequences of being a fake ass beach okay and it's somehow going to make your life easier. I don't know why. Because maybe they're going to stop being a fake ass beach. Or maybe they're just going to... I don't know. They're going to go elsewhere. Because of what they've done. You know. Like the consequences would be that they no longer have access to you. Or they're no longer going to be around you. I'm also seeing someone here protecting you. Like another good news that is coming to you. Is that someone is going to protect you. Because they believe you with your concerns like you might be voicing concerns and someone is going to protect you almost like the energy of a bodyguard is what i'm picking up here as well or again this is a person they're going to have a very protective energy over you because you remind them of themselves you remind them of their children you remind them of you know like something beautiful like they, they associate you with something somebody beautiful so they're somehow going to want to protect you is what i'm picking up here okay so this could also be like good news because someone is very protective over you or someone is going to protect you from a false person okay is what i'm picking up here or someone is gonna um somehow share a secret with you but like a secret strategy a loophole that people don't know about but they're gonna share it with you Okay, kind of like breaking their own rules. <laughs> um, but their heart is going to tell them that they should do it. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's get one more card. Who is the Two of Cups here? What is the Two of Cups energy here about? Can you give me one? Oh. I already knew it. And I think that's what I, why I wanted to get like one more card. We have the Union card here. It's like the ring 
so this could be your future spouse but i'm also seeing your future spouse's in-laws so um something along those lines could be in the air right now okay so for some of you guys not for everybody okay for some of you guys you might be like meeting your true love and your future spouse on a road to avoid conflict like literally like i'm seeing an energy here listen just an example because it talks about we usually meet destiny on a road to avoid it right so you might be avoiding going to therapy like you're like nah you know because there's like a stigma there's like a bad bad reputation about you know like um, therapy or you don't want to be seen in the self-help book section because people might think of you do you know what i mean where you still i'm not saying that everybody is doing that i'm just saying as I'm, I'm just giving this as an example because <laughs> I'm being brought to Charlotte where Charlotte was struggling and then she, um, maybe someone's name could be Charlotte. <laughs> um, she was struggling with something but back in the days when people were in the self-help section you thought these people were crazy or they needed therapy or it was not like a it was like ooh you know like gossip that someone goes to therapy or someone it was like gossip that someone reads self-help books <laughs> okay so listen this is like the energy here where again someone is avoiding going into the self-help book section <laughs> someone is avoiding to go to therapy someone is avoiding going to to the gym <laughs> whatever this is and then on your way to the gym on your way to therapy on your way to the self-help book section that's where you might be meeting someone here okay i don't know what that means okay let's say for example you tell yourself i should go on a run you know i should go on a run and then you're like you know what fuck fuck that you know i'm not gonna go on a run so your soul is telling you to go on a run but maybe like your mind is telling you you know what i don't need it you know like i, I don't have to do all of that you know <laughs> um but something tells you that you should do it so at some point you're like you know what let me go on a run let me go to the mall today let me get some running shoes and then on your way to the mall getting your running shoes that's when you meet him or her does that make sense so there's something about where you avoid something do it where you avoid doing something for whatever reason and on your way to do whatever this is you have been avoiding is when you might be meeting a special person because with the rings here this could be the energy of your future spouse i'm not gonna lie not for everybody but for some of you guys this is the energy of your future spouse because i picked up the energy of in-laws so strongly in your reading and i don't know why okay is what i'm picking up here or this could this could even be an energy where someone is this could be an energy where he might be talking to somebody and then this person's like you know what i have a son are you single i have a son and you're like oh damn you know like i don't want to do all of that like i don't want to go on a blind date and then when you see him oh my gosh <laughs> okay or when you see her or something about like you don't want to take your because i'm also seeing like your parents telling you about a person and you're like no i want to make my own decision and stuff like that i don't want to just take somebody that my parents sh seen somewhere or you know like something along those lines or for example no i don't want to go to this wedding you know like i don't want to attend this wedding and then on your way to the wedding that's when you might meet him or her there's something like that that's the vibe that is coming through here um or for example i don't want to meet someone out uh, online i want to meet them outside you know and then you're like you know what let me just you know download this dating app and then you meet him but you have been avoiding the dating app because you felt like you know what i want to meet someone outside like i'm not gonna um you know download the dating app like what if my ex sees me on the dating app and he sees you know like do you know what i mean something along those lines is what i'm picking up here okay and again i'm not bashing here i'm just telling you what i'm seeing here okay now one more thing that i want to talk about here is we have the 777 it actually came out with a false person so the angel number 777 i don't know why some of your spirit guides are talking to you through the angel num number 77 right now or the angel number 77777 could indicate that good news is coming your way but i actually want to see what the 77 means for you specifically okay so give me a moment oh yeah and one more card here that we have here's fair man it says dealings or relationships with a man with blonde gray or white hair 
okay so this could be somewhat significant or like a man with blonde gray or white hair could be significant they could be connected to your good news is what i'm picking up here but also whenever i look at this card i'm the the, the way that i read the fair for me is like a fair person or giving someone a fair chance so this could also be connected to someone giving you a fair chance or you meeting a very fair individual but i almost want to say it is after you met a very unfair individual so you maybe have been dealing with an unfair person or someone didn't give you a fair chance and then you're going to meet someone that is very fair and they want to give you a fair chance that's the vibe that is coming through here okay or this could be an energy where the reason why you are in some type of messy situation is is because of a false person or is because someone tricked you or set you up is what I'm picking up here and someone is going to see it like hey this was not your fault entirely or you got set up is what I'm picking up here and then they're going to be like no this is like a person who believes in justice and therefore they want to help you because they can see that you got tricked or you got um, someone misinformed you or someone um was withholding information from you that's the vibe that is coming through here okay but let me see why are you showing us this uh, the angel number 777 what are you telling pal number two with the angel number 777 it says you will be taken care of in difficult times we have your muddled unclear thinking or oh, and someone will try to make you do something against your will so when you see the angel number 777 be careful because in that moment you might have unmuddled unclear thinking because i said like the 777 is somewhat connected to the false person and usually 777 is a very good angel number it talks about a jackpot so i feel like this is a person who is an opportunist so this person could be an opportunist so be aware of some type of like opportunist or whatever is what i'm picking up here but yeah your spirit guides want you to know when you see the angel number 777 you might be dealing with a false person or someone is trying to make you do something against your will or you're not seeing something clearly okay when you see the angel number 777 just for the next couple of weeks is what i'm hearing not forever it's not like a message forever but just for the next couple of weeks here okay I'm also seeing for some of you guys, the good news could be um, getting tickets for something that was sold out. Okay, where well, you somehow find tickets for something that was sold out, actually. Okay. Yeah, and I also feel like there's some, there's like a stupid person because we have if someone is behaving stupidly. So um, someone is either going to see that you didn't do something on purpose it was a mistake and again therefore they're going to help you i don't know what that means or therefore they're going to give you a second chance you might be telling me cynthia i don't know what you're talking about yeah exactly <laughs> it's a future prediction i'm also saying for some of you guys you are about to find a personal trainer you maybe have been finding a personal trainer or again this is kind of like an energy where you had like a shitty therapist but you're finding a good one you had a bad personal trainer you now you're finding a good one you had a bad advisor now you're finding a good one that's the vibe that is coming through here okay you had a bad teacher now you're finding a better teacher or like a better one or this person um, is better at explaining because i feel like whoever this person is like whoever this teacher or therapist was they were not genuine like this is a person who they think they're better than other people so or they make certain things more difficult than they have to be do you see where i'm coming from it's kind of like a teacher that could somehow word a question to make you understand it a lot faster but they do it very complicated on purpose because they actually enjoy seeing people fail does that make sense so this is a teacher who likes to see people fail or they like to somehow word things in order to make it as complicated as possible so that, so that they look like a genius because they understand it like some weird ass stuff is what i'm picking up here okay um let me get one last card here okay fathers of you this good news that i'm picking up here also has something to do this might have something to do with a car like good news about a car good news about finding a car for like a bargain like I'm, yeah i'm seeing a car for a bargain or that you get a call you got the car or i chose you to sell the car to okay or how much money you're gonna get for selling your car is what i'm picking up here or someone here could work in a car shop or be in an be an and be an electrician so they can help you out with your car or with electricity is what i'm picking up here as well um but yeah we have here the card a goal oriented person and you can see someone is like hitting the middle or hitting the spot so this could also be about 
um, passing a test with flying colors um, at the second attempt is what I'm hearing. Not for everybody, but for some of you guys it might be. Or something about, can you clarify the target here? Oh, we have romances in the air. I felt it. I was like, you know what, let me calm the fuck down, but I felt that romance is in the air. For others of you, this is about you trying out something different when it comes to manifesting love and it works out. Or you trying, yeah, you're trying something different when it comes to manifesting love and it works the fuck out. <laughs> okay, let me get one more. I'm nosy. Um, Let's see, let's get one last card. What if the romance is in the air? Like I'm hearing something works out with the first try, but you still do something different. So something was not doing, didn't bring you the results that you wanted. And then the first thing, the next, like this other thing, the first try and it works out immediately. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. Okay, I don't know what this means. Okay. Something about, like, something works out with the first try or something about um, you try something different when it comes to love or when it comes to meeting people and it works out immediately is what I'm picking up here, okay? Or you try something different when it comes to your hair or your sex appeal, something that I'm picking up here as well, okay? Can you clarify the target and the rose? Ace of Cups. Okay, one more. Where's the target in the rose here? The Four of Pentacles, power. Yeah, you're finding something that gives you a lot of power, a lot of strength. May that be a book, may that be a diet, may that be a meditation, may that be a manifestation technique. Something is increasing your power, okay? Is what I'm picking up here and therefore you start to manifest big changes in your life, okay? I'm also hearing someone is opening up, so the good news is that someone is ready to open up or someone is ready to have a conversation with you, is what I'm picking up here. Okay, but yeah, for some of you guys, this is good news that is coming your way is that love is coming your way, okay? Your true love and your future spouse is coming your way. For some of you guys, this could be an engagement, bruh. If you already are in a connection, someone might be... Someone might be getting engaged here, not for everybody, but someone here might be getting engaged in the next couple of weeks, I would say. Um, that could be the good news that is coming your way or someone wants to marry you. So let's say, for example, you have been, you know, like not sure someone likes you as much as you like them. They might be hinting at, I want children with you, I want to marry you. Um, so it's kind of like good news because you were not sure where this connection is going, but they're going to hint at, liking you so much that they can see children with you in the future or that they can see you marrying you or they want to buy you a ring or something along those lines okay so good news is that um they want to be serious with you or they want to be official with you okay telling you it says official person so this could also be like a connection being made official okay or someone like an energy where you like someone but you think they don't like you but they actually like you back <laughs> is what i'm picking up here as well so this could be two people that have a secret crush on each other and then one person has to speak for it for the truth to come out okay not for everybody of course but yes pound number two that's what i have for you guys i hope you like this reading i hope this helped you i'm going to see you my next one and i wish you a lovely day bye Hello my lovely pal number three, welcome to your reading guys. So we're going to look at good news that are coming your way. I was just looking at your cards and already reading in the guidebook um, what this one card could be about because your reading is not as clear as pal number one and pal number two but it does make sense because we have the seven of cups here. So I would not be surprised if you are in a very confused energy right now like maybe your day was very off very weird maybe your whole week was very off or very weird depending on when i'm gonna post it <laughs> um or maybe your day was upside down or some weird stuff happened today or maybe even the energy between you and other people was off today okay because i pick up like this confusion like this haze energy where you feel like oh my god the whole day was weird the moment i woke up everything was weird or everything was upside down or everything was like chaotic you know on that day or today um where your whole time schedule was like i don't know upside down or flipped or something like that 
Okay. Oh, okay. I'm already getting the first message here for some of you guys. The good news is that um, someone will be able, like, someone will be able to change the shift with you so that you are able to attend like a concert or a gathering. Okay, so some of you guys, you feel like you want to go somewhere, but you have a shift on that day. I'm seeing someone here, like someone is ex uh, changing their shift with you because it's also beneficial for them to change the shift with you. For some of you guys, for others of you, this could be like getting a green light when it comes to a day off at work or, or something about being able to, da to take days off of work. Okay, because I'm seeing someone's boss approaching them and letting them know that they can take the day off or something about shifts changing or something about where you're going to get a call from your boss or your colleague that something is changing but it's good news for you does that make sense because on that day you wanted to do something or you wanted to go to the dentist or whatever i don't know why i just said that someone he could be thinking about going to the dentist or you literally have a dentist appointment um so Something like that could be significant. Somehow this confusion, confusion energy or this upside down energy is positive. So this is a change in schedules that is going to make you happy because you like that shift better. Or again, you will be able to attend something is what I'm picking up here. Or you will be able to go somewhere because the shifts have changed or the times have changed. Um, for others of you, I'm just diving straight into your reading. <laughs> um, sorry guys, pen number three, but yeah, this reading is going to be about good news coming your way that are going to make you happy, are going to make you smile, are going to make you jump out of happiness, okay? Um, for others of you, do you know what I'm seeing here? Um, I'm seeing a new boss or like a new project manager coming into your company and it's going to be good news. Like I'm hearing for some of you guys, your old boss or your old project manager he was bad news and this new project manager or this new boss is good news does that make sense where this is like a individual that you can talk to and they are compassionate and they compromise and stuff like that and your old boss was shitty so for some of you guys there could be like good news connected to either a boss approaching you or like a ceo or like your project manager approaching you they could be telling you that you've done very great the last couple of weeks or they really like your work ethic okay this could be a positive feedback from your boss or from a ceo or from like a masculine in a higher position but it does somehow feel like corporate do you say corporate yeah it says climbing up the corporate ladder no it doesn't say climbing up the corporate ladder but it says climbing towards success and it's a ladder <laughs> that's what i was thinking about um that's what I'm seeing here and again for others of you this is about like how a boss or a project manager is replaced in a company and whoever this new person is like you will like this boss or you will favor him or her or he's a lot more compassionate or a lot more kind or maybe they give a lot more permissions to take a break or something like that during work and the other boss was very strict is what I'm picking up here I'm seeing a substitute teacher that is somehow going to be significant maybe they explain something to you so much so that you finally understand it whereas your other teacher doesn't you know they don't really they don't have a good way of um explaining things so some of you guys this could even be an energy of like a no-show where a no-show is good <laughs> i don't know what the heck that means okay like a teacher doesn't show up in your school so you're gonna i don't know gonna go home or i don't know like the project manager is not coming so it's like a like a like an easy day at work you know something along those lines okay is what i'm picking up here yes that's what i'm seeing here okay for others of you um i'm gonna zoom you guys in but i'm already channeling so i just have to start talking okay for some odd reason let me actually show you the cards and then we're gonna talk about because i picked up like a very interesting message because i don't know did you have a fight or a disagreement with somebody or do you feel like you've made a huge mistake? I don't know if you've made a huge mistake at work or you feel like you said something and you didn't mean it. Like you had an argument and you said something and you didn't mean it. Okay. Or someone said something to you. Someone said something to you. <laughs> um, and they didn't mean it. Or like you had like a, you know, like you had a disagreement here with somebody. Is what I'm picking up here. Or... Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, this is funny. I'm also hearing like good news is that you were right and the other person was in the wrong. Um, I feel like it's kind of, I don't know if it's petty or not, but I'm picking up here like um, someone is going to say you were right. And, um, or this could be an energy where you thought you made a mistake, but you were actually correct. But for some reason, I pick up this is like connected to either exams or work. Okay. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we're gonna look at the cards because there's a lot more coming through here. So please bear with me for some of you guys. Because I'm hearing that doesn't make me love you no less. Where someone is like scared that because they made a mistake that the other person doesn't love them anymore not just romantically but if you feel like it, oh man i messed up now my auntie doesn't like me anymore now my um, my sibling doesn't want to talk to me anymore um for some of you guys let me let me show you the cards but i'm seeing here something about where someone says to you I still love you or just because you made a mistake I'm not gonna fire you or just because you made a mistake I'm not gonna break up with you where someone is in their head overthinking like oh my god I made a mistake and now this person doesn't love me anymore and I'm hearing that doesn't make me love you no less just because you made a mistake or just because you said something stupid so for some of you guys um there's good news coming to you because someone is gonna make a peace offering someone wants peace or someone it's like a Someone is not just going to disappear just because you made a mistake. So that's because I feel like someone here is like, oh my god, what did I say? I didn't mean it that way. Or, oh my god, I didn't want to hurt this person. Like, you know, um, and they're going to be like, don't worry about it. I already forgot it. Like, where you overthink like, oh my god, why did I say that? And the other person's like, yeah, I know you had your period. I know you were menstruating. I know you were hangry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's the vibe that is coming through here for some of you guys, okay? Especially if you tell me like, oh shit, ah, what did I do? What did I say? Okay, um, that's the vibe that I'm picking up here. I'm seeing them like, don't worry about it. I already forgot or, you know, like, I also said some stupid stuff, you know, like, let's forget about it. That's the vibe that is coming through here. Okay, um, but yeah, let me show you the cards. We have here the card Happy Family. Okay, so there could be good news coming to you because of a family member. For some of you guys, like I'm even picking up the energy here of um, getting good news about a family member's health. Okay, you have been worried about a family member's health and um, there's good news coming to you about this family member, okay, that they're that they're stable, like their conditions are stable, or they're doing better, or they're getting out of something, or they're going to overcome something when it comes to their health, okay? Um, for others of you, this could be about a family gathering, okay, or like a family reunion that is going to make you very happy. So someone could be like um, organizing like a family gathering that is going to make you very happy because you're going to see your grandma and your auntie again that you don't see that often okay maybe oh we talked about how schedules like where i'm seeing like two schedules are clashing and therefore um two people are not able to see each other is what i'm picking up here okay so again this could be something going on where you really 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 want to meet with someone and they're going to tell you damn you know the whole week i need to work and stuff like that and they're going to call you like oh there was a change at work like i can come or um we can meet today or something along those lines is what i'm picking up so that's kind of like where two where two people and their schedule is aligning for them to meet and it's going to make you so happy because um this person has such positive energy or they're always like they make you feel good is what i'm picking up here so it's going to make you very happy that you know there's some type of changes at their workplace and therefore they can come to you or they can come with you to a concert or a gathering or a party okay um is what i'm picking up here so it's kind of like where a plan is cancelled because two schedules don't match and then all of a sudden those two schedules do match and then the cancelled plan is like you know revived so it's kind of like where you thought you had to cancel a plan but you don't is what i'm picking up here okay or someone is not mad about you because you cancelled the plan where you think to yourself like oh my god this person hates me now but they don't okay something like you know you're still family i still love you you know i'm not gonna be mad because of that or something along those lines okay um 
some of you guys, this could be a pregnancy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I always pick up pregnant energy, but I'm seeing a pregnancy here. So there could be like a, an announcement where there's like a new family member being announced, okay? This could be your auntie, this could be your cousin, this could be your sibling, okay? Just for a few of you, I feel like for most of you guys that's not the message, but for, for, for a few of you it could be where there's like a pregnancy being announced, a baby shower is what I'm seeing here as well, okay? Um, for others of you, we have here the Mercury Retrograde energy here. I don't know when the next Mercury Retrograde is, but it seems to be where good news is coming to you around the next Mercury Retrograde. Okay, but I want to read out because that's what I did before I pressed recording for your reading. But I want to read out what the um, Mercury Retrograde is about. Okay, let's see. Let's look a little bit into what the guidebook says. So it says, Mercury Retrograde Reinvention. Mishaps are like knives that either serve us or cut us as we grasp them by the blade or by the handle. <laughs> Mercury Retrograde is regarded as a time when things tend to go wrong. It, in actuality, it makes a three and a half week period where any important action should be postponed. About three or four times a year, Mercury goes, goes through a motion called retrograde, which means to go back or retreat. Ooh, to go back or retreat. This is an energy where someone can go back and fix something. Or retreat but oh yeah for others of you we talked about it right where maybe you were able to take days off of work like um, surprisingly or something about um, something is going to be where you submit vacation and it's gonna be granted and you really need it or like a day off or something like that okay or something about where you call your boss and tell your boss like you really don't feel well and they're gonna be like don't worry about it it's not that i'm um, busy at work anyway or we're gonna find a substitute don't worry about it i don't know something like that is what i'm picking up here okay um it says but although mercury the planet of slippery wit fluency and adaptability the inner planet so close to the sun appears to be backwards it's not the retrograde movement of a planet is just an illusion because I'm telling you something about where it's just an illusion that someone doesn't like you or someone hates you or I don't know that you effed up something, you know, you could have tendencies to be very dramatic because <laughs> um, I feel like sometimes you being dramatic is very, uh, it has an advantage and it has a disadvantage to be dramatic because people that are dramatic they are very good at imagining things but they're also very good at imagining things does that make sense <laughs> okay um yeah so there's something about where something about where you feel like you fucked up for life but you didn't i don't know what this is okay it's like you're a little bit confused it's almost like good news is that it's just your anxiety and it's just your overthinking whatever you're thinking about like doom gloom or whatever it's not doom gloom okay because mercury retrograde talks about how it's just between two or three weeks so this could be just a state or it's just a phase in your life does it make sense where you think i'm gonna be lost for the rest of my life i'm going to be um broke for the rest of my life it's not you're just going through a stage right now that's what it is okay so good news is that something is not long term or something is just for a short period of time okay is what i'm picking up here because this card right here says, um, don't be scared, um, you're going through changes, things will feel normal and um, stable again soon. Okay. So it could be the energy of like good news is that someone is not mad at you, things are normal or things are going to be normal between you and the other person or... Um, this could also be kind of like where there's harmony coming back to your family, maybe there was like a... Um, depending on like, I'm very like careful with my words because... A family reunion does not always have to be a good thing because if you reunite with a toxic family member they can do a lot of damage just for the sake of a family reunion so again I'm very careful with that but for some of you guys this could be like a family reunion that you wished for um, 
is what I'm picking up here. I'm also hearing, okay, for some of you guys, I'm also hearing like that you have a fight with another family member. It doesn't affect, let's say for example, you have a problem with your auntie, but you love your uncle, but you think, oh my God, because I'm, I have a fight with my auntie, does that mean my, my uncle is also going to be mad at me? Or does that mean my uncle is also going to look at me in a different light? And it's like this fight is not... Um, influencing the way the other person sees you so you have a good connection with your uncle okay but you have a fight with your auntie so you distance yourself from your auntie and then you think oh my god i hope i my uncle still likes me although I've, i i made that decision does that make sense and your uncle's like don't worry about it that's between you and auntie what is between you and me you know there's nothing don't worry about it like i accept your decision or something along those lines does that make sense because the five of wands can also be family like fights okay so for some of you guys those family fights are getting resolved for others of you you having a fight with another person does not influence like your deep connection with another person in case you are worried about it this person doesn't see you in a different light okay they just see it as that's between you and the other person if that makes sense okay something along those lines is what i'm picking up here so basically it's kind of like a third person doesn't see you in a bad light or in a different light just because you made the decision to do you know what i mean where someone it's like someone is not judging you for your decision and you were scared that they would judge you or you were scared that they would not no longer like you that's the vibe that is coming through here okay or something about where you feel like you were too honest that's something to like where someone where you feel like oh my god maybe i was too honest but maybe they're gonna come to you and tell you like hey you were actually right about it maybe it was tough for me to hear it in that moment but i'm not mad about you for telling me the truth like why would i be mad at you you said the truth do you know what i mean something like that is what i'm picking up here um it says the retrograde movement of a planet is just an illusion because the earth is orbiting the sun at a different speed than mercury and the other planets still from an astrological point of view planets in retrograde motion cause potent effects on the earth below um no planet goes retrograde as often as mercury because it is never more than 28 degrees from the sun and because of this it has given us the dubious phrase that when something goes awry many claim many exclaim mercury must be retrograde mercury isn't the predictable planet oh you see going along its normal direct path anyway oh there you go that's what i'm picking up here where you feel like you're gonna be judged for is for oh yeah okay listen you want to make a decision maybe you've already made this decision or you are about to make this decision and you're so scared to get judged by your dad or your mom or your auntie or someone here okay for some of you guys they might be judging you but good news is that it's not gonna affect you as much as you think okay how can i explain it let me let me actually see what this is okay so there's something about where someone um someone is not gonna judge you or someone is not going to crucify you for making a decision that they disagree with or um something along those lines or someone is not judging you as harshly as you think they do okay let's see why is the five of wands here ace of wands yeah it's something about like where you feel like you want to walk in new direction or you want to walk a new path but you're again you're kind of scared of people judging you for it for making that decision here and again there's something about like you might be so oh yeah you might be surprised that you're going to get support instead of judgment so you're thinking they're going to judge me or someone is going to judge you for changing or for walking a different path or for trying something new or again for distancing yourself from someone but in actuality i'm seeing someone here supporting you and even if there is someone that is like not gonna give you the support that you thought they would it this person is immediately being replaced by a person that brings a lot of support to you does that make sense so there's something about good news is that you are being supported with your decisions or you're not being judged as harshly as you think you would or someone is supporting your decision someone is supporting your new ideas someone is supporting you in changing your life or changing the way you do things someone could be backing you even up in a fight or in a argument okay where someone has your back in a fight or an argument is what i'm picking up here as well 
so they're not judging you they actually have your back okay let's see where's the five of wands here yeah we have here the page of pentacles okay and she has like a magnifying glass in her hands okay Mm, yeah, listen, I'm telling you, for others of you, you felt like you've made the wrong decision, but she has a magnifying glass here, so she has seen correctly. So the good news is that for some of you guys, it was not a mistake. There's something about where you feel like it was a mistake, but it was not. Okay, so something that you thought was a mistake is not a mistake. Um, you thought you're going to get judged, but you're actually going to get supported. Or someone thought the same thing, where... Two people have a thought, but no one speaks about it. But once a person speaks about it, the other person's like, yeah, I thought about it too. So this could be, I'm also hearing, this could also be um, agreeing to disagree. So two people agree that they disagree. Okay. So even in, an, in, even in a disagreement, there can be harmony, if that makes sense. Okay. Let's see what else it talks about. Um, it says, but once it goes retrograde, it's akin to trying to drive a car backwards. All things ruled by Mercury, Mercury suddenly begin to... Oh gosh, that's a long ass. Wobble and go, and go off kilter. However, if you are a writer, when Mercury is retrograde, it's, perfect, it's the perfect time to revise your writings. Mercury is the counterpart of Hermes, the Greek Olympian god, the sly trickster who is not only big on pranks. Oh, you see, something was a joke, something was a prank. It was not meant like, it's not that serious is what I'm hearing, okay. Um, but also false moose. He is the god of transitions, roads, and boundaries. The very name Hermes, very name Hermes has to do with speech and implies he is a translator. Hmm, interesting. So this could be good news connected to you learning a language or someone helping you translate something. Okay. This could be something like that as well in case you are like in a new country or you could be receiving good news that someone is helping you to figure something out in a different language or help you to figure out where to go or, or what to do. Like if you are in a new country or in your city and you might be receiving help from someone who lives there. So they're going to help you because they already know everything here. Okay, um, it says when, the, when that information comes to us wrongly because of Mercury's unpredictable retrograde motion, nothing seems to go right. Firstly, when this card comes up in a reading, back up all of your equipment, your computer, cell phone numbers and address books and anything to do with technology or mechanics. Electrical appliances. Oh yeah, for others of you, this could be an energy where you create something and then you lose the draft but it somehow got saved anyway okay so this could be kind of like um about finding a way to revive old material or finding like old things that you can renew or i don't know what exactly this means okay for me also there's also something about like good news because you found something like because you thought you lost it, but you it's some it's somewhere around you. <laughs> okay, that could be good news as well. Okay. It says electrical appliances purchased at this time may end up needing to re to be returned. So good news could be that you can return something. Um, any sales items will often turn out to be massive nut duds. Don't make the mistake of purchasing a vehicle at this time either. If you are to have your vehicle repaired, expect making another visit to the shop to have something revised or corrected. How long will this period last when Mercury Retrograde card comes up? Um, give, the, give the matter one week and then ask the same question after that week. So yeah, something about this could be just this week, okay? This could be just like a where your spirit guides are telling you this is just this week or this is, you know, do you know what I mean? Like where... Whatever this energy is, this confusion or the sadness or these disagreements, it's not for a long period of time. It's just a stage or it's just a phase is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Something about where you think something, but it's not even true. But in a good way. It's like someone doesn't like you, someone... Mm, 
is mad at you like literally someone you, you might be thinking someone is mad at you when they're not mad at you okay let me see let me get a few more cards someone here could be born in the month of april someone here could be born in the month of november someone's name could start with a v okay but yeah we have here oh, we also have here the card victory in some endeavors so there's something about what you think you fucked up but in actuality you won this is literally someone having an, an imposter syndrome someone thinks they fucked up and they lost but they actually won what the hell is that <laughs> i don't know what that means this could be literally where you attend a competition and i'm seeing you here winning okay someone here could be attending a competition and winning can you clarify this victory in some endeavors in the six of wands so some of you guys could even be like where you think you have bad health but it's an illusion like where you think like you have to go to the doctor but it's just something that for the day do you know what i mean like where i don't know you might be like this is an energy where someone is googling their symptoms and then there's like the worst case scenario but you know like on the next day your symptoms are gone that's the vibe that is coming through here or you just ate something bad or something along those lines okay for some of you guys this is literally about winning an argument again something about where there's evidence that you were right okay so this could be an energy where good news is that there's evidence or someone caught something on camera or there's a witness for something to show that you are innocent or that you tell the truth or that you are right okay for others of you there's some type of good news connected to i'm seeing someone here being a tarot reader and i'm seeing here like there's a lot of success coming your way very soon especially if you're somehow in the public eye okay Yeah, I'm also seeing for some of you guys here, again, I'm not encouraging you to do that, but I'm seeing here, in case you are somehow ending up being at a casino, I'm seeing someone here winning money at a casino. Okay. Yeah, so this could be energy where, like, um, the good news is that you won, that you are the winner of something. Okay. What, what is the victory energy here about? What is the victory energy here about? the filmmaker i'm telling you someone here is a content creator someone here is a youtuber someone here is on twitch someone here is on tiktok okay there's some there's some huge things like you're someone here is about to blow the fuck up because i already looked at the globe okay i already looked at the globe here the guy like the man he's next to a globe someone here's gonna go viral good news is that you are about to go viral okay someone here is about to go viral um or something about you are being defended in the comment section or again i'm telling you where someone people could be if you're thinking about changing like your hair or what you do there's such a positive like feedback something about where people respond very positively to the changes that you're making or to the new you where you show the world the new you and the world is responding very positively to it so it's all just an illusion that they don't they're not gonna like the new you or a different version of you or something like that okay let's see what is this victory energy here about Someone here is going to get a present. I'm, I'm seeing someone here receiving a present. And that present is somehow connected to... You have... Well, for some of you guys, I'm seeing here someone is going to buy you a present. This could be... I'm seeing a family member here buying you a present. And that present is going to help you to create content or that present is going to help you to go to the next level when it comes to your projects your art your um videos your something okay what is the victory in some endeavors energy about miss i told you it literally says misunderstanding guys that something was a misunderstanding that you misunderstood something okay look at that discord among friends or family Okay, I'm telling you, you misunderstood that someone doesn't like you or someone doesn't want to support you anymore. That it, it, Something was a misunderstanding here. Okay, 
For others of you, I'm seeing this good news is connected to someone trusting your intelligence or someone trusting you to do something on your own. Like where you feel like finally this person sees me as independent or finally this person um, sees that I can do something on my own and it's going to feel empowering to you where this person is no longer babying you they allow you to do something on your own and then you're going to feel like yeah they finally accept that I'm grown up and I don't need their help just for someone here okay and it's going to make you feel good or you're going to feel like this person finally is respecting your boundaries or is finally respecting that you want to do something on your own again I'm telling you there's something about where you're going to get more support than you think could be financially emotionally spiritually just with them like accepting this yeah that's what i'm picking up here okay for others of you the good news is that something is not due yet like i'm literally seeing an energy here where someone was misunderstanding the due date <laughs> so you will have more time because you somehow misunderstood the due date of something so you're going to be like oh god damn like i'm being brought to someone who thinks like an essay is due but it's actually due on a different day <laughs> okay that's what i'm picking up here what is the good news that is coming to panel three yeah look at that we have family sorrow here and we have here an again you know what i'm just gonna keep it like that like i think i don't know what else to say here it's because the cards are just confirming everything that i just said and i feel like i'm talking in circles i'm hearing round and round and round and round and round and round we go round and round and round and round and round and round we go round and round in circles like we got no place to go it's a song by Georgia Smith, so someone you could really like her, someone's name could be Smith, <laughs> okay, someone's name could be Georgia, but yeah, it says, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you, I'm telling you. And here it says family sorrow, we, exactly what we talked about. So there could be one family member showing you that you cannot trust them and then there could be another family member showing you how much you can trust them because i pick up both energies i pick up one family has one family member has so much love for you and you're going to be like oh my god thank you so much for supporting me understanding me not judging me um helping me with this mistake or helping to see my point of view and then there's another family member who f them okay so maybe your connection with one family member is gonna get fucked up but it's kind of like they're showing you their true colors whereas the connection with another family member is going to become very very strong so you might be seeing like damn i always thought i can count on my on my auntie but i'm seeing i can actually count more on my uncle you see where i'm coming from like something like that is what i'm picking up here but yeah, it has something to do with like family members. This could even be like a family member that is in spirit reaching out to you and you're going to be happy about it. Maybe the way that they reach out to you is so like breathtakingly beautiful. Like I'm being brought to videos where, you know, people notice that their departed loved one is around them and it's so intense. Like it's literally visible that this departed loved one is around them so that could be significant here as well this departed loved one could be someone that is born in month in the month of april or in the month of november okay and and for a lot of you guys these good news could be coming to you in the month of april because we talk about the next good news so i feel like for a lot of you guys maybe these good news could be coming to you in the month of april okay Yeah, something about it was just an illusion. It was just, um, oh, I'm seeing someone here wants to buy your art. Someone here is a painter. Someone here is an artist. Someone wants to buy your art. Ooh, and I think this person has money, honey. Oh, god damn. I feel like someone, oh, someone big either reads your book or wants to read your book or someone big wants to buy your, um, Someone big is going to buy your painting. Oh, who is this? Because look at that energy. This is definitely, this is an influential individual, whoever he is. He's going to be like, damn, I want this t-shirt. I want this picture. I want this something. Okay. So 
you might be getting disrespected by one family member but you are getting highly praised and highly respected by another family member or by this individual here okay this king of pentacles whoever he is okay and him talking about your product or him shouting you out or um him buying your stuff it somehow um it creates a ripple effect okay in your life one more what is good news that is coming to pile number three one last card for pile number three six of swords oh i'm also seeing a boat trip here okay so someone is going to be very happy about a boat trip or um like a meeting close to a body of water or yeah a boat trip or something like that um give me a moment guys i just want to see what this one is about is it the moon let's see xv The moon, okay, it's the moon, yeah, 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 it's the moon. Okay. One last thing. For some of you guys, I did talk about that on my Patreon. So for some of you guys, you might be connected to, like for some of you guys, you might be on my Patreon, but this was the last, I, I've done a collective reading for my Patreons and I titled it something about like sexual energies in the air, you are about to experience, oh yes, yes, you are about to experience like a, some, like a climax and a shit talker. I'm going to link this collective reading down in the description box. It might be significant for you only if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, I feel like that this reading is, these two readings are connected, okay? These, these two readings are connected. Because what I pick up here is that someone is mad or salty. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be someone. Not, okay, let me rephrase it. For some of you guys, this is an energy here where you will feel like you want to cut someone out of your life because they're not good for your health. Like you're noticing your health is not good around this person or somehow they're always around you when you feel fucked up and ashy. <laughs> okay. So for some of you guys, you already have done that. And for others of you, you, you will be doing that and you will have support. Like someone is going to support you. Like, hey, just cut this person out of your life. Just, you know, quit this job. Like I'm behind you. I'm supporting you. I'm supporting your um, decision. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, this is a person who is salty that you continue your life and you um you don't allow them back into your life i don't know what that means okay so this is a person who feels like again i talked about it very thoroughly on patreon i'm going to put the link down in the description box so it's the link that goes directly to the video okay but this is about how someone is going to you, there is an energy of like someone wants to make you think you deserve bad karma or you deserve like punishment or you deserve to suffer because um, you hurt them or you didn't give them a second chance or do you know what I mean? But it's actually like, it's not true. So someone disagrees, like someone, this could be, oh, let's say for example, someone talks shit about you to your boss. Your boss is going to be like, I disagree. Pan number three did nothing wrong. Does that make sense? So someone is going to disagree with your enemy. If there is an enemy in your life and they're trying to manipulate people to go against you, those people are loyal to you. They're not going to go against you. They're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you talk about, you know, pile number three like that? You know, I'm on pile number three's side. That's the vibe that is coming through here. Okay. And for others of you, this is about how you don't deserve some type of punishment or treatment or 
someone is trying to make you think that you deserve karma for doing something even though you did nothing. So you might feel this doom gloom energy because someone is very very mad and salty and they think pawn number three deserves karma, pawn number three deserves karma for saying this to me, for doing this to me, for walking away. So you might be thinking, oh my god, um, I'm seeing so many weird, I'm seeing so much weird things happening. I have bad dreams. I see bad omens. This, these, these bad omens and these bad dreams, they're not your spirit guides. These are people sending you energy. This is a person sending you energy. I hope you deserve karma. I hope, you know, you suffer for, um, you know, like not calling back or I hope you suffer for um, canceling our friendship or whatever. Does that make sense? So the universe is proving to you your future looks bright. So these nightmares or these bad omens that you see, it's not from your spirit guides. It's someone sending you shit as energy. Does that make sense? So the good news is that you there's some type of success coming to you. And again, there's something about like you have a clean slate or um, you've done nothing wrong or someone says that to you or someone sees that, that you've done nothing wrong or something along those lines here, okay? Something about something was just a dream or something about um, something is just an illusion. It's not like, do you know what I mean? Okay. Now for others of you, if you feel like you've done someone wrong, for some of you guys, this is just for a select few of you. If you feel like you've done something wrong, your spirit guides want you to know you can still fix it. Does that make sense? You can still fix it, you can still do good. If you feel like you've done something wrong, it's something is still fixable or something something can still be repaired, okay? Let's get one last card. What is good news that is coming to pile number three? Because I feel like you need one extra card. It says morning. Crossing the veil, okay? Interesting, look at that. Yeah, there's something about how you see yourself in the mirror. Oh, shut the front door. I'm also hearing mirror magic. Oh, hell nah. For some of you guys, there was mirror magic that was involved. For others of you, I'm hearing someone thinks you're beautiful. Okay, like good news is that someone thinks you are astonishing, gorgeous, beautiful, like eye candy. Okay, so you might be thinking they think you're ugly or maybe... Maybe you, th I don't know what this means, but someone thinks you are gorgeous, but you think you're like ugly. I don't know. The way you see yourself in the mirror is completely different compared to how people see you or how people perceive you. Okay. And it's going to make you happy that they don't think that way about you. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So it says crossing the veil. It says morning, bittersweet endings, passing a path, making, marking a passage, eight of cups. Yeah. It says, even when you're moving on to something better, it can be hard to let go of things you've loved for a really long time. You might move into your dream home, but that doesn't mean you don't get to mourn the happy memories in the old house that held you until now. You may celebrate your child moving out of the nest. Ooh. Okay, that could be significant because we have the word here, nest, twice. Okay. And finding their own way but you still need time to work through such a dramatic change this card represents that bittersweet moment when you know it's time for something good to come to an end but you will still miss what you had I find there is a lot of pressure to move past grief rather than through it often a failure to acknowledge often a failure to acknowledge grief may lead to doubt about the beautiful new path that is ahead of you Ooh. That is interesting. It's a transition. So the good news is that you can finally transition. This could be spiritually speaking, energetically speaking, physically speaking. Something about where a transition is possible. What the heck does that mean? For some of you guys, you might be moving either in April or in November. To your dream apartment for some of you guys. Okay, um, it says crossing the veil has come to you because you may be questioning a decision out of fear. Mm -hmm. That what you're getting may not be worth what you're giving up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this card is your confirmation to let go, but also to make space to process your grief. When you are not, 
Where you are now has served its purpose and you are destined for more. You may consider performing a ceremony similar to a graduation to mark the transition from one way of being to the next or create an altar space for a time to show your gratitude and appreciation for what has, what was. Above all, trust that where you are headed is right and will lead to many more happy memories. You are safe and will be supported even if you do not if even if you do not know what comes next, know that you are held in security of spirit and that when you let go, something else would take its place. I told you, that's exactly what I told you. That was a lovely reading. <laughs> a little bit confusing in the beginning, but I feel like you are in this energy, but you're gonna come out of it. It's like the energy of like um, clarity is coming to you soon. So if you are in a confused energy, don't worry about it, you know, just... Go on about your day, you know, stay calm, stay present, observe. This confusion is soon going to be over, okay? Confusion about your path, confusion about a person, confusion about where you want to be. It's going to soon be over, okay? I'm hearing love. I'm hearing loss is a lovely place to find yourself, so enjoy the ride. <laughs> okay, pie number three, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you like this reading. I hope this helped you. I'm going to see my next one, and I wish you a lovely day. Bye.